I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, lads. This, the suck is hitting and I don't know why. <laughs> it's turned from a discussion to a fucking bar conversation of us just fucking shouting at each other. It's the shittiest episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. he's actually downing it. Okay. <laughs> Definitely watch this with a drink of wine or sake. Or... I'm the host for one time <laughs> with a guest, Chris Broad again. Hello. Oh, that was that like the, the weakest yes. intro I'm, I have ever heard. Honestly, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, a little dis I'm a little disappointed. Hello and welcome to this episode of Trash Taste. I, I was have talking another- gone. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, as you know, Corona is still going on. So we weren't actually able to get any significant guests. So. We asked Chris to come back. <laughs> Heartbreaking. No, Chris kidding. is like, yeah. please bring me back on. I want, I want a taste of that clown again. I've been waiting for months. <laughs> Every week I stand out in front of the studio waiting to be let in. I'm like, come do, 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 on guys, this week. We're like, no, not this week. But now finally I've been allowed back in. What he says yeah. is he's our most viewed episode. Yeah, so. exactly. Thank it's you crazy. so much for coming back, Chris. It's good to be back in the church, the anime bill. Yeah, yeah. It, it's <laughs> nice. Oh my. <laughs> the church of anime. <laughs> the church of anime. Isn't that what we called it It's, it's also it's nice right. getting to talk to you after we've you know become a bit more familiar. Because yeah. actually, it was the first time we'd ever met when you came on the podcast. Yeah, it was really yeah. nerve-wracking last time. It was it was scary. Really? What? No. Really? No, no, shut but up. Like, no, <laughs> now we're friends. Yeah. And now <laughs> <you> reluctantly, <laughs> of course. Now, you, now we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> now you've helped us film like our drifting special. The which, drifting, yeah. yeah we, had, we unfortunately like didn't get a proper chance to introduce you in that episode. And you, 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 you were just kind of just yeah. there. You just showed up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very yeah, scuffed. Very slipshod. I, I, I don't know what I was expecting, some sort of grand entrance. We talked about me like rocking up in the car and be like, well, hey, everyone. In the end, like, it's there's, Chris Ball. There's, <laughs> all abroad. Uh, now there's nothing. Thing. Just yeah, like me in the back of the car. Your, your opening like, oh. shot was just dying in the back of the car while Joey was in the front. I'm really glad I got involved with that project. It's like uh, a really quick pan. It's like, oh. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. It was honestly nice to be behind mm. the camera. Yeah. Um, watching Joey be sick and yeah, it's great. It is nice shooting someone else's video because you're like, if this fucks up, not my problem. <laughs> yeah. If it yeah, all exactly. goes wrong, I'm good. <laughs> it's fun just like flying the drone. I was trying to crash it into the car. Like, yeah, I, I wanted you success. to. Yeah. And you were like, like charging towards yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Do That's you like fun. do you like being behind the camera like more than in front of the camera or vice versa? I do. I like being behind the camera. Oh, you yes. I do prefer being behind the camera. Yeah. Really? I'm yeah. way more conscious of how I'm presenting and you know, it's just fun filming, but presenting mm. It's tough. Like I get the impression you three prefer presenting more than filming, right? Oh no, I th- I mean I mm. prefer being the in like the producer director role where I can mm. just tell people what to do and I have like a vision of my project rather than yeah. being on mm. the project itself. Um, I am awful at presenting, I think, and that's why these two are on camera more than me. Mm. I don't. I just don't think I have enough experience behind the camera. Right. To really know if I like being behind the camera mm. more than in I, front of it. I, I do yeah. like presenting, but it really stresses me out when you're also presenting the director, the producer, and yeah, like yeah, e- yeah. everything <laughs> is like, everyone's like looking at you for direction. Mm. It's like, well, I can't do everything. Come on. Yeah. Like, give, give me a hand here. Yeah, because yeah. there's, you know, some shoots obviously rock up to and like, they're like, so what have you got planned, Connor? I'm like, I don't know. Mm. What do you mean? We were just going <laughs> to start filming stuff. Like, yeah. I, I have no idea. And then it's a bit hard to present because it's like, this is a, a coffee in this cafe and it's just kind of awkward. It's like, your videos go. it's like, yeah, we'll fix it in post. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it in post. <laughs> I just like to imagine like, that's how you are on the actual filming day. And then somehow in post, it just turns into, hey guys, welcome back. There are lots of moments where I'm like, I'll just say something. And then obviously it just cuts into a smooth transition voiceover. But what right. actually happens is I just say something and I'm like, All right, is that good? Real good? And everyone's just like looking at me confused. And I'm like, all right, we'll just do the next thing. We'll go on to the next thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's that's Super what that's awkward. what I learned from the Akaba episode that we did, where right. it was my first time actually filming out in the open, mm. and I because I I didn't know when to stop talking. Like the, when, the when sentence no, is fine. When, you can cut when, when no one's directing you. I wasn't used to just being like, okay, silence. Uh, is is that good? Did we cut there? Uh, <laughs> do I keep talking? I don't know. Did I present enough information? I guess yeah, because all of the all of Giga's videos are scripted, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. like a completely different experience. Being yeah. like, well, I know if it's scripted, where to pause and when <laughs> yeah, to stop. I've thought about this. You, before. You, yeah. you do get used to though. I think eventually just being like, all right, the camera's always on. It's whatever. Right. I'll just relax when I'm done saying what I need to say. Yeah. You know? yeah. But I think when you initially have it, you're like, fuck, fuck, I'm being recorded. FBI is gonna get this footage I'm somehow. I'm still not used to filming in public, I feel. Like I, I don't, yeah. I, I can do videos like off script because I've done yeah, off script yeah, stuff, yeah. I've done on script stuff, but when yeah. it's outside with just random people watching me, 
I feel there's like a weird pressure of like, oh, people are probably watching me and judging me. Judging me. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I can't, yeah. because, so like, that's why I could never understand people who have the balls to like walk out, you know, in the middle of Shinjuku or whatever and just start vlogging by themselves. I don't know yeah. how people do that. I, I, I think that's why I like, I like getting permission. Cause when I found right. permission, I feel like it's the green light. Oh yeah, yeah, just be yeah, like, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. When, when there's no permission though, I kind of have to you know, just be like, oh, they don't find yeah, me. I hate hey, secretly guys, filming. Here now. Yeah. yeah. But so I, it's like I, yeah. shit like chin angle as well. It just, it just makes yourself- <laughs> Shit chin angle. It's like, it's like down here, right? It's like, hey guys. Ugh. Well, cause when, when you did your recent amazing video series, Chris, really great stuff. Yes. Uh, your journey to Mount Fuji, right? Journey to Mount Fuji. Is, is that, that the name it, of the series? Like, I don't know, what is, it, what is it called? I just watched them all. <laughs> your amazing series, I don't remember the name of it. What was it again? <laughs> It's Journey Across Japan Escape to Fuji. Fucking hell, Chris, yeah, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Escape, Come on, it? YouTube well. SEO needs to be a bit I, I better. I like how you went, went like the proper sequel title to that. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. Journey Across Japan, Escape to Fuji I, I, edition. I was wondering, cause you filmed in Daiso. Did you have to ask them before or did you just rock up at the camera? Daiso, so, fun fact, one of the only places in Japan you can film without needing permission. Really, oh, you can just I rock like up. I'm not just making that, <laughs> <laughs> making that up. As but I've normalized now. <laughs> you can go in, you can film that. Tomorrow news wait, article yeah. breaks how, how, did, how did you find that out? Die, so. Just common knowledge. I, I know there's a science like pictures are okay, right, but yeah. I don't know if that means rock up with your film crew and go inside <laughs> and start. <laughs> this yeah. is Chris Broad and here is a plastic hand yeah. for 300 years. You made me sound so much better. <laughs> <laughs> that, was like, that was like David Attenborough. Yeah. I just, because in my head, Chris sounds way more British than he is, right? So I, I, I think like, yeah. What do you mean sorry. he's the most British man alive? Yeah. No, no, I'm no, so he's not, your, come on. Connor's accent is more British than mine. Really? He's from like Wales. Well, How does that work out? See, I, I, I don't know. There's people who watch me who say the uh, the opposite. They say that I don't sound British enough and that you sound proper British. Proper, proper British. Well, because yeah. Chris Broad's voice and a Broad in Japan's voice, I feel are two different voices. They definitely you know are. I mean? Like really? your yeah. presenting accent is a lot more British, I feel, than yeah. your just regular talking accent. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know Chris. I, I, I feel like it I've, is. I've known you long enough now. I just get I lost kind of in the good like, content. I know. <laughs> well, when you start talking, I know when you're in like presenter mode. I think, yeah, when I'm a presenter, I'm more cynical, sarcastic yeah. and unpleasant. Which you're like that in real life. <laughs> Fuck off. You're, 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 you're like that like normally. I was thinking it, but you're not supposed to say it. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, it, 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 it was fun because when we filmed the, the drifting video mm. and we were in the hotel, I was like, oh my God, Chris is just like exactly like me. Just absolutely- Chris is shit. Chris is just fucking miserable and complains about everything. Oh my God, that's it's exactly the same. I mean, that's just the most British trait. Yeah, I was about to have, say. Right? That's like all British TV presenters, yeah. right? It is. it is. That's just any Brit. Who goes, that's just any Brit who goes abroad, right? That's, and that's why Brits rarely go like abroad to places that other Brits haven't already been to. Yeah. Like mm. hearing hearing about a Brit who goes to Asia, we're like the weird ones. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> To be Wait. fair, that's true, that's true. <laughs> Normally we just stick in Europe or like fucking Zanti or one of the fucking <laughs> islands, right? I, I don't fucking <laughs> know. Where the fuck's Zanti? <laughs> that's one of the fucking islands. It's a bunch of party islands. Oh, like, right. like Ibiza and oh, all that. Yeah, right. yeah. Benadorm. <laughs> They just sound like Game of Thrones locations to me. Like, <laughs> spend it all. <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> the island of Zanti. <laughs> <laughs> what is this you've given me? It's it's, it's cheap fuel. fuel. It's, it's game of fuel. fuel. It's game of fuel. <laughs> Our sponsor. Do you like? <laughs> this is like my first time to drink it. Yeah. So I'm a bit nervous the way you're all looking at me. <laughs> mm. Are you gamified now? <laughs> Are you having like a trip? It's delicious. <laughs> what is it? It's like fizzy. It's not fizzy, but it's like really sour and It's like an, especially like an energy drink. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know what flavor you have. Pink lemonade. Oh, you have pink lemonade. Pink yes. lemonade. Does it do something? Does it, <laughs> what, like, it energizes you, Chris. It turns so, you into an epic gamer girl. When I saw Maylene pouring it, she was like, <laughs> 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 you're gonna no. enjoy this. I, was like, what? I mean, that's just Maylene. That's just Maylene doing Maylene. anything. That's Maylene, that's Maylene so, with anything. Yeah. It's scary, but no, it tastes all right. Yeah, it's got caffeine in it. Yeah, oh yeah. Probably. Probably. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, because it's supposed to be, it's like energy drink, right? Ah. It's, like, it's, it's gamer fuel, G fuel. Yeah. How does the first drink of 2021 taste? Oh Chris? yeah, this is the first episode of Happy 2021. New Year Happy New to Year to all of our viewers. We it's, survived, lads. We, we survived. Well, hopefully, because this is filmed before the new year, so who, who fucking knows? Oh, oh my God, that's morbid, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and it was the last time that the Trash Days boys were seen <laughs> with Chris Broad. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah, 2020, not a great year. Well, yeah. that's yeah. Maybe this year will be good. Hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed. You guys, you guys have any hopes for the new year? 
<laughs> I, th I think 2020 has taught me to know my place with expectations. I think I've, 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 don't I've, get too I've, I've thought, about anything. I thought maybe I could spend more than two hours outside at a time. And, yeah. and, and, I don't know. <laughs> Just go. I, I went on the Psycho line today. Have you ever been on the Psycho line? Psycho line. Oh, the, right. Psycho Sen. Oh, it's fucking <laughs> JR line. There was some sort of self help line. Honest, you honestly, 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 <laughs> honestly, honestly, I, I needed after going on it like <laughs> this morning because I go to class at like eight a.m. So it's rush hour, right? Yeah. And the so this it's fucking insane. So when you go up to the platform, there's so many people waiting that mm. like they go to the next platform and start like curling oh off the mm. side. Yeah, and then it's just a. It is literally like as you saw in the videos when they squish people on. I thought that was just like a. Oh, you've never been in that position before. Well, I've been on that. Uh, now I have every week. Oh <laughs> my god! But I, but I never used to see it as a tourist because I never used to right, go at yeah. like the eight a.m. trains. Yeah. It's not as bad in the evenings, but definitely. In the morning, it's horrible. And yeah, right now yeah. with COVID, it's like- If you're coming up like, to Tokyo, like avoid trains between seven to 8.30. It's yeah. awful. Yeah. I mean, I still think it's pretty bad in the evenings as well. But not as bad. Like you can, you can when there's a question of, hmm, how many people do I have to push forward to get on this train? And then maybe just about like cripple myself I mean, I, in I, it. I, like I that's, that, that's a little bit too much. I had much. that yesterday when I finished at around 6 p.m. Mm. I, I, feel, I feel like 6 p.m. is probably like the worst time to go home. Right. Cause I, I remember it, it was it was the same point where, you know, like if you think about how to get in the train mm. and I thought the best way to get in this train is to do a fucking run up. So, <laughs> so rugby I to, tackle I to, like, them. Fucking rugby tackle my way through to get space. And I just closed with my backpack, like touching the door. Yeah, um, I, I love all these like just really, you know, skinny like train attendants just fucking doing a full on rummy split. Yeah, because they, <laughs> like they were, scrummy, yeah, they push, they push them in. in. It's just like a rugby match, that's great. The, the, they treat it like a, like a, you know how someone like get their car stuck in mud, like, oh, get out, push it, put, give it a push. <laughs> get out, come on, come on, Steve, give it a, give it a good push. And like, I, I'm, I'm there and I'm like, is there an etiquette when the train is that packed? Like, because I'm crushing this, like these old ladies in this corner and I can't do anything. Cause I'm like fucking the force of Zeus against this door trying to like stop myself from, but when it's like eight, eight people's just like squishing, I'm like, fuck. Good God. And you do that yeah. like on a daily? Well, basis? at least once a week, sometimes Jeez. twice a week. And I, I think though, the reason why they have to do that in the morning is yeah. because they don't want anyone to be late to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. All, all those trains always are delayed, that that one. Well, yeah, specifically. yeah, exactly. And because yeah. there's too many yeah. people. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. So it's yeah. so counterintuitive. And then when it gets delayed, more people are waiting for the train and yeah. it's just, it's an absolute mess. It's a yeah. shit storm. I don't appreciate it. Sort that out, Tokyo. And if I get, if I, if I got the Rona, you know, how the fuck would you contact Trace? <laughs> like, oh my oh, god! So who was, was on the psycho line at so, yeah, so, so who was in the train? Which ten thousand of you also had it? You know what I mean? Like, what? It'd it's scary. Easier, it'd be easier to say who wasn't on the yeah, train. Yeah, yeah, it's, right? it's scary, yeah. man. Yeah, daunting. I, I'm just like, what do I do? If I get it, fuck. All right, well, shit. <laughs> Have you ever been on like uh, that kind of morning rush? Because you, you know when yeah, you, you, you live like, in the country, well, yeah, but I come to Tokyo quite a bit, and I yeah, I've done it, and I learned my lesson yeah. never to do it again. Because it's not yeah. that bad up in the north, right? Up in the north, they no problem. Yeah, yeah, at all. Yeah. I'm like, sure yeah. if I started coughing, they'd all run away. They, they'd make room. Have you, done, have you done that? <laughs> no, no, I'm, dude. Yeah. It, when, when I get a sneeze now, I have like this Zen moment of. <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> any form of coughing or anything. Any noise, you know, bodily like just, noise. Just <laughs> like co coughing is okay, but sneezes like, it's, it's fucking That's hard scary because you, people always look. And like, even when I'm wearing a mask, I'm just like, do I just sneeze or do I sneeze into my hand? Or like, what, what elbow, is, elbow, what, what is elbow the right in the mask. Do you, do you know I what? sneeze way too loud to sneeze into my elbow. You, you know what's the best way actually to stop a sneeze? <laughs> there's a, there's oh, a, you, you, a pressure you know, point. There's a pressure point right here yeah. on your top lip. And if you push that hard enough, it you're actually stops You're not gonna do that in public, are you? Like, <laughs> well, no, like, you know, like, how does that work? I would rather sneeze. actually works. Like, I've had so many times where I've, wanted to sneeze in publicly on, on a uh, packed train. There's a better technique. You what? rub here, right? Like yeah. that. Yeah. And that's better than going like that, isn't it? I just scream I don't know, really loudly. The same. Just go like that. It looks like, you know, you're just, you're just massaging your nose. Like well, yeah, no, I'm and, not uh, saying to do this. Like, <laughs> I'm not saying to make it obvious. It but like, it does work. You can kind of just so, like do like, I, I usually, I usually <laughs> do it with my thumb. Just, like that. just imagine Chris on the train. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, what it's the fuck? Easy, <laughs> <technique>. <laughs> this boy may not oh, sneeze, God. but it looks like he just did a line of coke. Just like, <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> so good. Okay. I feel like it after this. Yeah. <laughs> No, like I don't, I don't, I don't mean like doing it obviously like that, but I usually do it kind of like with my thumb, just very subtly like yeah. that, and it stops it every time. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. bullshit too, because it was it's the one piece of information that I saw on Japanese TV 
And I was like, oh, wow. Oh, come oh. on. That's, no, they, no, they, they, so they'd that's say stuff thought, like, yeah, shit no. your pants to get rid of Rona. People yeah. would start fucking doing it. <laughs> that, that, that's, 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 a bunch of nonsense. that's why I thought, that's why I thought, oh, it's probably bullshit. But you know what? I'll give it a go. And I tried it out once and I was like, <laughs> okay, maybe that was a coincidence. I did it twice. I was like, then you, then you know what? I, I there want, might be some actual like knowledge. I, I want a subreddit for things of, it's probably bullshit, but I'll give it a go. It's like the R slap, you know what I mean? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure there is a subreddit. Yeah, or something like that. I hope so. Like the, your fucking grandma's, like grandma's tales. R slap live Japanese TV facts. I'm, I, I'm, I'm curious about 2020, because obviously you've been making content in Japan. Mm. How much has it changed making content traveling around Japan and, and what, what kind of like big differences have you seen? Is there, has there been any like major differences apart you've, from you've the lack of people? This year, haven't you? Well, you've got to wear a mask. That's yeah, yeah. Change. yeah. And, like, it's kind of hard. It's a bit hard to present in a mask. It's been a nightmare presenting with a mask outdoors. Mm. I gotta say, one of the one of the one of the highlights of 2020 was watching Chris with a beer go through his spam comments and just. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm always on the hunt for like ridiculous comments, um, and we certainly had a few. Like uh, on the second day of the road trip, we did. Mm. Somebody told me I was disrespectful for not enjoying the taste of oh the bee larvae. Right? Yeah, bee yeah, yeah. Larvae. We didn't we didn't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. was sick, and someone's like, "You're disrespectful." to the Japanese for not liking hornet larvae. I was like, like, but the woman who what sold it to us- What planet are you on? The woman who sold it to us was like, I don't like this. This is shit. It's, it's, it's not like you said to her, oh, this looks fucking disgusting. It was it was really weird. That sort of comment triggered me. That triggered me. Right. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was a trigger. It was oh, a trigger. Wow, wow, it was Chris. A trigger. As, if, as if that person commenting was like, well, I personally love bee larvae. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> the hornet larvae. My family's farming. been producing bee larvae for generations. <laughs> I'll have you know. I'm like, third generation bee oh, larvae oh, harvester. Yeah. Oh, it's like, like foreign folks who feel they need to defend Japan often come up a lot in my comments. And, mm. uh, yeah, but That's, people like that, yeah. I find usually- Have they never been? actually traveled to Japan, yeah, right? Have, yeah. have never traveled outside of their country. Right. Usually. Yeah. And like it's got nothing to do with their culture. Like I would understand a little more if it was a Japanese person mm, who was yeah. getting offended for Japanese culture, right? That makes sense. Mm. But usually it's like, it's, it's, it's just, not. It's just people yeah. being like woke, you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Like I, I remember um, back when I was living in Thailand, like my mum tried to get Sydney to wear like this very traditional Thai dress. Mm. And Sydney was like, um, yeah, I don't know about that because like a lot of people can get offended because mm. of like cultural appropriation and stuff like that. Mm. and. My mum was like, what's cultural appropriation? <laughs> and like having to explain the concept of cultural appropriation mm. was just completely fucking impossible to yeah. like, a, like a, you know, an, a, like a Asian mum. Right, right, right. It just, it just like mm. did not compute that. Why would anyone get offended on behalf of my, me, yeah. of, of me? Yeah, you know, yeah, for, yeah. It, well, it's because before the word cultural appropriation <laughs> came about, it was called cultural appreciation, you know? <laughs> and now there's such a thin line between what is appreciation and what is appropriation. Right, you know? right, yeah. It's if you take too much, you know. Right, it's, it's like, is, yeah. a, is a white person wearing a kimono? Is that appreciation right, it, or is that appropriation? If someone right. started shagging sheep, I would be like, hold on, that's my thing. <laughs> I'll tell you appropriate. <laughs> come on, come off it, you know. I, you know. I think a lot of the time, like you said, it's the, the, the people themselves are like, yeah, but dude, we want you to experience yeah, right, our yeah, culture. Exactly. We want you to share it, exactly. right? Like, and it's, it's like uh, fucking all these like people who were, you know, you know when Ghost of Tsushima came out, mm, yeah. so many people were like, oh, this game is so, it's, it's such cult cultural appropriation to, you know, the whole like samurai culture thing. Well, people well, said that? Yeah, yeah. Really? When, yeah, when the game first came out, I saw there was this huge thing about it. And, and it was really funny because there was a guy who gathered a bunch of, uh, 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 reviews or like, I guess like, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. customer reviews of Japanese people who play the game. And they were like, nah, dude, it's cool. It's epic. Yeah. yeah. Mm. White people, who, please go who, ahead, make yeah, a who, game about samurais. It's yeah. fucking cool. If it's like, if they're obviously respectful towards it, who doesn't want a fucking video game about where they like, their, their right. history there like badass. Thing, but there was this whole thing of like, oh, it's a Western company making a game about Japanese culture. And it's like, so? If they can do it correctly, right, then yeah. what's the problem? How yeah. dare Japanese people make bread? That's that's yeah, it. Right. that's <laughs> we made we started that. Uh, how dare they make our bread? How dare but white shitter. people cook rice? <laughs> how dare <laughs> they appropriate? Sorry, I don't want to get like too like anti woke, but you know oh, what yeah. I mean. It, is, it just goes too far. It's just dumb. I've seen uh, like especially recently, just with the whole PC culture thing. It's just there's no one can be culturally appreciative of things anymore without right. at least one person saying, "How dare you? That's offensive." Right. Yeah. I, mean, I think because it's like it's like people want brownie points on Twitter, right? Yeah. Right. And because there are legitimate cases of people just being straight up disrespectful to oh, a culture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think some people mm. see that and they're like, "Oh, if I do that next time, I'll get Twitter clout." 
I'll get followers, right. right? So the next opportunity that comes up, they're like immediately like on it. And then everyone's like, well, I mean, not really. But that's the thing, right? It's like, uh, I, you know, you know bad intent when you see it. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. And just some people are just so clouded by that. I mean, you'd they- think you'd know bad intent when you see it, but some mm. people, it feels like it's- Some people are good at bullshitting. <laughs> <laughs> intent is just lost in a lot of like, in a lot of mm-hmm. cases. Mm-hmm. And it's sometimes it's just, hard, especially on Twitter. And like you said, some people are like chasing for this. Oh, yeah, they, some people are like actively looking for any yeah. example that they can they can see. Mm. And it's it's created a culture where, you know, sometimes you wanna do something where you wanna post something on Twitter, but you don't know who is gonna offend sometimes. Right, right. Um, yeah, it's- it, yeah, Chris, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a tightrope, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Scared of saying anything at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I, <laughs> so, I like things and everyone. <laughs> so be happy in 2021. Let's be happy. Yeah, let's just yeah. like let's, stop it. And what better way to be happy than having some sake? Oh, oh man. Oh, you got hey. So in Japan, you drink a lot of sake at the start of the new year. I think I might have just made that up. But <laughs> you do now. Is this commonly commonly known knowledge? <laughs> is it on the side of a Daiso, Chris? There is, is that- a thing. We have uh, Kagami Biraki, right? Mm. Break, break in the mirror at the start of the new year mm. when you work in a Japanese office or a school like I used to like. You had to break a barrel of sake with right. the principal. And it's really awkward because you've got the principal, 100 teachers watching in a barrel. You've probably, you've probably seen footage of like in front of like shrines and stuff where, they, yeah, where yeah. there's like three or four priests who like get a, like a wooden mallet and mm. they just you, crack on. Oh, I have seen that. It's really fucking awkward because you smash it and it just Nothing goes over the principal and you just feel like a dick. <laughs> and like, oh, sorry. You can't like, drink it either, right? It's got on the floor. Suck it. Just going. Fucking <laughs> chaos, Connor. But we're not going to do that. But hopefully at some point we can drink that today. Hey. Fantastic. Mix it with your Kool-Aid. I don't, I, I, <laughs> I don't think we're going to mix it. But... Uh, yeah, this looks good. Yeah, I did. I, I did some sake tasting uh, last week. I tried fourteen different types that, of sake. Was that for that a was video? The best. Oh yeah, it wasn't for a video. Are you a fan? <laughs> of sake? It wasn't for. I am, but I can't tell you the first thing about it. <laughs> I, I, it's got floral undertones. I find. Well, the, I mean, like the only thing unfiltered. I know is like, yeah, this is the unfiltered stuff, which unfiltered. is ginger. I, it tends to give awful hangovers. Though. Yeah, I, I haven't awful like gotten hangovers. used to sake because it's like it terrifies out of me. every drink. I'm terrified of getting sake hangovers. Like every time, like yeah. I remember when I came to Japan as a tourist, and I would be like, I would drink all you can see, all you can drink sake all day long, yeah. and then I realized, holy shit, I just want to die the day after. Oh, dude! Like I usually get pretty bad hangovers if I drink a lot, but when it's like a sake exclusive, for some reason it gives me the worst headaches. It's like I usually get, I usually get like the stomach hangover, no. where my stomach gets really queasy. But yeah. with sake, it all goes to the head. Right? Yeah, and I just I wake d- up with a why. blistering headache. I don't know why. I think it's because you drink more of it because it tastes, it doesn't have a strong flavor. Yeah, right? like yeah. Quite yeah. deceptive yeah. drink. It looks yeah. like water. You think, oh, it's pure, and then you have like three, and then four, and then you're fucked. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> is that, oh, is that, it's is that pure. What you- <laughs> 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 it's the pure shit. <laughs> sake, it's pure. Because well, no, it doesn't have, the, it doesn't burn nearly as much as no, sake. no, especially the good ones as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I enjoy the taste of sake. I just don't like the aftermath. It, like, yeah. You wake up in the morning. I do, and I do avoid it. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things where like sometimes Japanese people will invite you to be like, do you want to kind of have sake with us? And I'm like, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Of course. And then I'm drinking, I'm like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there are some pretty dicey ones, but no, that's good stuff. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, definitely, we'll definitely crack I've, this I've, open. I've got something to share as well. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. New Year's celebrations. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it over here. Stick it in the- so Mike, Mike Wazowski can have a, have a sit. It's not sake, it's more wine. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, yeah. we do. Oh my gosh. Uh, recently I came back from Koshu Valley, which is Ooh. basically, it's, oh it's not very well known, but it's kind of like the Napa Valley of Japan where it's this area um, and they make a fuck ton of wine. And right. it's uh, me and Sydney go on it on a yearly trip where we go to this, the wine tasting place where you pay like, it's, it's now 15 bucks, but you go down to this cellar and there's like hundreds of different wines that mm. you can try, unlimited unlimited amounts. <laughs> um, British people. <laughs> <laughs> but this time we tried going to some of the uh, local winemakers as well. And there's Ooh. like a bunch, like there's there's a bunch just in walking distance. Mm. And uh, these are. This is one of the wines that I picked. Got it. I, I love how this podcast has slowly become an excuse for us Suck to just keep wine, buying yeah. each other alcohol and yeah. being like, "Oh, isn't this nice?" That, that's what I've noticed though recently. Is that like the best? I, I, it gets to the age where I'm just like, "Man, what what do people want for wine. Christmas or birthday? Wine. Booze, alcohol, <laughs> booze." Because wine, wine looks it? wine looks pleasing as well. Yeah. Like to yeah. give it, it's like you're classy. I respect you. Yeah. You're class. Take this. <laughs> and I also have some uh, wine grape raisins. Wow. Wine grape raisins. Yes. Oh God. And some wine grape cakes. Ooh, so wine oh. grape cake. 
Yes. I love, wow. I love the English on this. One letter a away lavish from taste for adults. <laughs> a simple and homemade style taste. I'll Please enjoy the elegant and delicate <laughs> Can't wait to destroy those with some yeah. sake and wine. Wow. Yeah, like I don't know when I reached the age that I started to appreciate <laughs> wine because I remember when I was a kid, these would give me the worst hangovers. Mm. It, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't like sake, it was wine. Boxed then, wine. Yeah, boxed wine, well, right? Yeah, of course, Whoa. boxed wine. <laughs> it's like drinking petrol. Basically, Echo Falls in the UK. Does that? Does that? <laughs> the big old like they're talking about the five pound box. You can get like, yeah, you can get like three liters of wine for like uh, five or four pound twenty oh or God, something. Why? <laughs> to get smashed, sure. That's <laughs> horrible. You're a student. You got to share. I mean, when I was a first year student, I used to drink like two bottles of red wine every like day. And fucking hell. day. <laughs> things, fucking the, hell. The, the things, the things were you I okay? Did. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was in a bad place. Oh my I think, God. I, think a, I did like a relationship had ended uh, just before university, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to ruin myself this year. Oh, and right. so I turned to wine and the results were just dreadful. Uh, well, don't, yeah. don't do that, avoid wine. God, you must have like, you must have gained a lot of weight from that. It's like, hang- yeah, I mean the hangovers and the things I did. So you know when you just want to wipe a whole year? Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> from your mind. That's kinda, what kinda, I did. Kind of like this year, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess that's yeah. what all this is for, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what are your hopes for 2021 then after? I mean, I think we all had hopes for 2020 that went down the yeah. toilet. Do you not yeah. feel that like surviving a year on YouTube is a success almost? <laughs> like every year you, you still no, I, do like it. That. You're yeah. like, like I, I, can't, I come into every year thinking this is my last year. <laughs> And I've, I've said that. For, this said, is where it ends. I said that for, end. I, I've said yeah. that for about ten years now, and I'm like, I, I think if you get too comfortable, this platform has a way of sweeping it like you, under you. you. On, yeah. As a YouTuber, you just see people who just fall off the face face of the planet in the span of like a month. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's scary. Um, like so many channels disappear as quickly as they come, and then yeah. are quickly replaced with new and upcoming channels. I mean, so it's like a lot. What, of, oh God, sorry, what defines what what leads to a channel? To, what leads to a channel to sort of disappear? Do you think or lose? Its <sighs> I, th- I, I, I think, as as Connor said, like most of the time, it's comfort. I think it's yeah, complacency over, over comfort. Just being like, you know, I have all these subscribers. I, you know, a lot. I've, I don't. Of course, I don't want to say any names, but <laughs> say some names. <laughs> but you know, there's a lot of channels that are you know much more in the higher subscriber range who kind of are just like. I can make anything mm. at this point and it'll probably still get I, used. I, I think that you're in a good spot where you you kind of have to keep going to new things. Mm. Like yeah. Your content, you've, the way you've built it has forced you to do that. But you know, uh, for a channel like my own, I, I could do, I have reoccurring series and I could just pump the same ones out. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you back say week, that, but the, the videos that tend to do the best on a in Japan, I'm usually just be in my room. Right, the comments, comments, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 right, but, but I you, feel you maybe those. it's because you do that now so, like very often compared to what but, you used to. But that, to, like right. you have to on YouTube, right? Cause you can't constantly be going and doing these right. like week long. But, but that's what like, I'm saying. Drives. Like if, yeah. if Chris did videos where, you know, you were just in your room reading hate comments or going through your spam or you're like, you know, just commentating verbally rather than showing it, then I feel people would start to be like, oh, this is kind of repetitive. Yeah. Oh, but I think it's the fact that you just every so now and then throw it in. I think I just try and mix everything up with the content. Like one week right. I've got like a bullet train, next week I've got hate mail, the week after right. that. Right, yeah. and that's, and that's usually the best, yeah, that's usually the channels I feel that survive is right. the ones that have variety. I yeah. feel like you've got to just keep in surprising your audience. No, I agree. Something I agree. new I agree. and fresh yeah. and original. Yeah. Um, but I hate the comment that annoys me the most uh, of all hate comments. <laughs> I'm excited for this. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to say it because I know everyone's going to start commenting it. But it's, it's like the comment which I get a few times a year uh, okay. and it's, this guy's run out of ideas. Oh. <laughs> I've been oh, get- once or twice a year, I read it we and all I want to punch it. someone. We all yeah, get I've it. Been, I've been getting that. Japan video oh, now. Yeah. Comments just going to be spam. It's just like, come on, look at the stuff I've tried to do this year. Like, there's so much weird what? shit. Like, I've always, wanted, I've always wanted to ask people, like, what constitutes us running out of ideas? Tonight? I don't know. Like, like, don't know, like what is it? Well, it's it's odd, right? Because I feel like a lot of YouTube comments are like. Do the same thing again. Yeah. Like they're yeah. like, yeah. but then on the other hand, there's, but, there's but at people the same like, time they're like they're, he's run out of ideas. <laughs> run out of ideas. Yeah. But I it's get like, that. If, if, like, why? How? But what I don't understand is that there are always people who every single upload, no matter what you do, there'll always be comments that say, oh, he's run out of ideas. I'm like, yeah. you wouldn't think that if I had actually run out of ideas, I wouldn't be uploading at all. I've, I've had it every year for like, Eight years now, like after yeah. a year of doing it, he's run out of ideas. Imagine if I went, yeah, I have. Well, I better end now. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> so shit, he's right. Yeah. And then every year, someone be like, this channel's peaked. So I remember like 2014, like, this channel's reached its zenith. It's not gonna, it's gonna be shit now. <laughs> and then it went on to get better, like, you know. So that's the comment. That like, I know more about your channel than you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, that's a- a- everyone does think they're an expert on yeah. yeah. YouTube because yeah. they watch a lot. Mm. And it's always, you know, it always sucks as well because whenever I've had, at least with me, I've had a few times where 
I have genuinely been like, oh shit, I don't know what to do next. Run out of ideas. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's run out of ideas. You or hear like, that, you know, guys? He's actually <laughs> ran out of ideas. Well, you know, like where I get like an artist block and I don't know what to do. Right. Yeah. Right. And I think I'm gonna ask my audience. Right. That's and, the that's always the yeah. worst idea. And I and I and I go on Twitter being like, hey guys, what 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 content would you like to mm. see? And there's always that really one popular vote that's like very vocally spoken about. And yeah. you're like, well, I guess people want to see it. 99% of the time you make a video like that, it gets shit views. Yeah. 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 As well. it's, and I'm like, oh, it's the fucking vocal minority. To be fair, like I do boys. I do ask sometimes, cause like re- there's sometimes there is like a genius idea, like yeah. one, oh, but yeah, I've yeah. never but had it, more than one it, good it's, idea. It's, re- it's rarely the top voted one. No, it's never. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. it's never the top voted one. And most of the ideas you get are just, kind of like just the recycled ideas that anyone could- All the top right? comments are just like, react to Reddit memes, please. It's like, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm really good. Yeah, audience suggestions can be a slippery slope. Yeah, when is when when are the audience gonna get what they want? Chris Broad reacts to people reacting to Chris Broad. Well, I think, <laughs> I, on, <laughs> you on, do uh, that? I think got comments, people want us to do like a boat ride on Journey Across Japan. They're a like, boat do an ride? episode on a boat. And that's do, actually and quite fun though. So <laughs> that, that, that's, that's a good idea. I was like, that's, that's not on a boat. <laughs> what, are you, what are you gonna do on the boat? Just, like, just what, complain about how- you do on a boat? <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. This, this boat series. Wait, we're gonna like circumnavigate <laughs> Japan on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> Don't steal the <laughs> Write that down, write that down. <laughs> hey, this episode is sponsored by Mega House. Have you ever wondered what would happen if an anime character and a Rubik's Cube had a nice little baby? <laughs> well, you get a Caraction Cube. A what? A Caraction Cube. That's what it says here. Caraction Cube. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted by how fun this cube is to play with. So, <laughs> did you know that it looks easy to solve, but isn't? There are correction cubes for every fandom, such as Dragon Ball, Gundam, Naruto, and more. Gudetama. And yeah. Gudetama. Naruto. Naruto! Why? <laughs> Collect all the Correction Cube figures, play with them, display them, and enjoy a truly unique collectible puzzle. Look wow. what I did. Oh, wow. You've killed Frieza. I, I destroyed Frieza. I gave Naruto some fat <laughs> anime titties. Oh Look at God. that. I want to give Frieza some fat titties. Hold on. The figure size is 3.35 inches tall with chibi details and seven connected parts that can be twisted into various arrangements. Like this, for instance. Oh my oh God. My God. <laughs> what have you done? What did what you, you do to, to him? Frieza? I gave him titties, dude. Oh or I guess uh, more like a stomach. He's uh, created by Mega House and distributed by Bandai USA. Did you also know that it's available right now online on Amazon Target and other retailers for only four Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. I know. I That's know. one wow. cent less than fifteen. <laughs> Damn! What a deal. Did you also know that Correction Cube is a twenty twenty one finalist for Toy of the Year in the collectible category? No way. I can see. I look at look that. at this look at this abomination that I created. <laughs> what did you? That's like nightmare fuel. It's like man. freezer toilet. So if you want to get your own Correction Cube, click that link in the description down below to order one today. You can also vote for Correction Cube for the 2021 Toy of the Year competition by clicking the link down in the description below. Voting ends 5th of January and the winner will be announced on the 12th of February. So thank you so much for sponsoring us. Back to the video. Look like, yeah, audience suggestions. When we did Journey Across Japan, we had challenges every day. And one of the challenge we got was cover yourselves in custard and close your eyes while you're driving. It's like, <laughs> there's funny. And then there's like crossing the line and <laughs> crashing in a, like dying in a car crash with Joey covered in custard. Like, I don't know. It's I don't a know. terrible way to go. It's like, I don't know about your like personal fetishes, dude, but I don't think anyone wants to watch two dudes covered in custard for an entire video. But then again, <laughs> saying it out loud. <laughs> kind of on it, no? Yeah, but, uh, but even if you did that, right, there'd be more comments be like, how dare Chris put other people's lives in danger yeah. for his shitty YouTube video? How dare video. he's wasting food. Did dis- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's disrespectful to the custard. <laughs> <laughs> custard you know appropriation. You know it would happen. And we did it in the, in the fourth uh, or the fifth episode, Joey and I sat in some plant pots. Which were like these bathtubs. I saw that. You did it in your video, like yeah, the yeah, capsule yeah. hotel with some plant pots, mm. identical matching uh, plant pot shaped bathtub. Yeah, yeah. Someone commented saying, that was disrespectful to the plant, <laughs> like to Japanese Yo, culture. Okay. To, to the plant pot. <laughs> to the plant pot. <laughs> it's disrespectful like, to the plant how pot. How is that offensive? Well, it's, because, it's because I think some, some viewers have this notion of Japan of everything is very meticulous. Everything is careful. cultural and everything yeah. is well, traditional. Plant pot well, bathtubs are not a part of Japanese culture. Well, if, no. I, if I go to a hotel and it's shit, I'm reviewing it and saying that it's shit. And if they give me a plant pot for a bath, I'm probably gonna be like, well, that's a bit of shit, isn't it? Where's the, where's, where's, where's the porcelain bath? Come on. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, you know, we were like, oh, this is, you know, unique, weird thing that might spice up the video a little bit, but like, how, I don't know how the fuck we were disrespecting. I've been in bath. another place that had a bath like that, right. and it was just uncomfortable. Cause it's like- It was very uncomfortable. I got stuck in it. Cause you're like a fucking like gremlin in this thing, just like, 
Oh, very comfortable. <laughs> That's what Sorry, I was like in the video. Put my ass though. in Chris's face. <laughs> Enter Chris. <laughs> oh, God. That was a very flexible position I wasn't expecting. <laughs> <laughs> no, call I Chris off guard, get... too. <laughs> a broad in Connor. <laughs> <laughs> Journey across Connor. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Some, some <laughs> imagery then pop up. Bring, bring me along. I'll give Natsuki a run for his money. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you to meet Natsuki one day. I, I really want to meet Natsuki. You're gonna get on <laughs> such a fucking character. He's a lamb. That was like the first time I probably got to speak and hang out with Natsuki. I mean, I've met Natsuki once at like mm, a, an event right. that you did after the first journey across Japan. Mm. Does he still call you Jelly? Yeah, he still calls me <laughs> Jelly. Yeah. Cause I think he genuinely thought my name was Jelly at first. Well, he did, yeah. He was like, where's yeah. Jelly? <laughs> you mean Joey, right? <laughs> jelly, yeah. I, mean, I don't mind. It's it's a, it's an endearing nickname. But I mean, go back to the comments, like for all the these silly comments, for the vast majority, the comments are nice. Oh, yeah, I do, same, yeah. Same, same. Like, somebody said to me, uh, like, you know, when you reach a million subscribers, you're not, you're not supposed to read the comments. But like, yeah. I do, I do enjoy doing it because it feels like when I produce a video, it feels like having a party. And when you release the video, no, I agree, you know, I agree, the comments, yeah. you kind of want to be there and you want to talk to people and see what they think. And yeah. it's, it, it's the only way you can have that engagement with the audience, I think. I, I think the, I, I read the comments on the first two, first day or so. Mm. Yeah, and but I think most YouTubers do. Yeah, but then if the video especially gets in like recommended and starts really taking off is when you yeah. start seeing the really fucking stupid comments. <laughs> on trending. Yeah, on, oh, on trending or if, yeah. it, if it starts like, if the views start climbing really fast and then you start getting the people who don't know who you are right. and it won't it's leave the, their the recommended. Obligatory, I don't know how I got here yeah. comments. Right? I don't know who this is. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who's, who's this, this British knob? Do you, British <laughs> knob. <laughs> do you guys get like, have like a honeymoon period with your videos where you have like this, after you finish like a big project or something, you like the first two, three days, you go through every comment, you're just reading it all the time. And then it just, and then you kind of just don't care about it anymore and you move mm. on. Mm. I'd say it's accurate. Well, because because YouTube forces you to be like, oh, you've 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 cured cancer. All right, now cure cure something else, please. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. it's it's like it's never. No matter what you do, it's never. That was a terrible analogy, by the it, way. Yeah. It's never good enough for the, YouTube. The victory yeah. lap is always short, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it doesn't matter how big or how amazing you did. I mean, like look at the like Unis Anas, that channel, right? Like they yeah. did like a whole year's worth of content, deleted it. It was a giant thing, and now they have yeah. to get on about it. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 weird how it's weird and scary how short internet memory is. Crazy. It's crazy. like Unis Anis is was an amazing concept, an amazing yeah. idea, and it's like so impressive that they pulled it off. Like right. but how long is it gonna actually remain in people's memories, you reckon? It's it's gonna it's be tough. Man. It's hard to say because there's like Basically, all evidence of it has been removed now, as uh, they wanted. Do you to. know what that is, by the way? Not a clue. So there's these, okay. there's these two YouTubers. Well, Markiplier is one of them, uh, right. and Crank yeah. Gameplay is Ethan. Yeah. Yeah. They basically did a channel where they uploaded daily, and at the end of it, they were taking it all down. Yeah. So the and channel, that was the so whole premise. Unisanus in Latin means one year. Right. So yeah. basically, they would upload every day for 365 days, oh and then on the 365th day, they would delete their channel. And they yeah. did. So and they did. did. Interesting concept. Yeah. And yeah. then they 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 take down any videos that are re-uploaded. So the whole point of it was to be like in the memory. Of the yeah. people. Yeah, it's quite cool. It's idea. really cool. But it, again, it's one of those things where it's like, oh my God, they pulled it off. They did videos that long. And then now it's like, okay, cool. Now what? Like, <laughs> yeah. like, the, only, like the only thing that remains now is like just the merch that yeah. they released throughout the like year long yeah, run. I mean, but I mean, it's literally like- It's cool. It's so cool it's as such a creator. It's a cool concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally like the end of the Truman Show. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like mm. have, if you've guys seen the Truman Show, like when that ends, people are just like, all right, what's next? And that, that's yeah. literally what it's like being a YouTuber and like making content on the internet. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, it was always morbid because I was always watching Casey Neistat back when he was starting to blow up and doing daily vlogs. And this man was literally sharing like every aspect of his life. Yeah. yeah. And then it's still like, but we want more. Like, what else do you have? Show us everything. And it's like, this man is literally like doing everything the world has to offer. Yeah. And YouTube is like, come on. Okay, yeah, keep going. <laughs> and then he stops and then, you know, his channel didn't do very well for a while. They didn't grow because he took a break. Cause obviously yeah. you're gonna get burned out from yeah, doing sure. that. Oh yeah. yeah. But now he's back. I think he's doing like sparingly. He, he seems to be happy. Yeah, he seems to be pretty chill. Yeah. It's, I, I it's like crazy it. though. It scares me that. What? Just having to do that. Like oh, if no, I, and that people I think my version of hell is daily uploads <laughs> and, yeah. having to, and having- Daily the, vlogs. Yeah. Daily vlogs and then having to edit that said daily vlog. Yeah. And it's, it's not just daily vlogs. It was like highly produced Yeah, it was vlogs. insane. Well made, kind of like yeah. what you were trying yeah. to do with Journey Across Japan, right? The first one. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> 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 talk about that. <laughs> I'd love to see daily Sea Dog VA. It what would just, it be like? We'd just be sitting in the chair like- rah, 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 rah. Be me like, grumbling for like four hours, playing a video game and then just- <laughs> Doing nothing. I'd watch that. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. You know I'd what? Like, I'd be like in the room with you. Be like, wow, you, 
you can't get <laughs> I've always I've always wanted you know how you see those like those really like shitty BBC like three documentaries about like yeah. unamusing things and like the YouTuber ones. I really want like a like a BBC four or something to come and be like follow me for a day. Expose that. And just be like, yeah, so I just kind of sit here all day really and just chat shit online. I mean just it's like, so how Connor, you've been playing league for the past four hours. Uh, what, what now? It's like I'll play for maybe another four. I'm gonna talk to people online for three hours and, yeah. just, you know, and get angry. Yeah. And then might go jack on the that. life of a YouTuber. Are you yeah, Connor's gonna go to the supermarket and eat food like normal humans <laughs> and then go back to his house and eat it. But and with that voiceover, it kind of works. Uh, like, maybe. It could work. You could sell it to me. That's that's a good concept. I would. I, I really want to do something like that just so I can like fuck with the footage constantly while I'm recording. Like, put this in, keep that out. Like, it's not like doing like daily videos just for a week thing. Just try it out. That's scary. That's a lot of work, Chris. You're not the editor, though, are you? No, but what would I do daily? Like, would it be like like the way that you did the the Fuji video where it's like, uh, as in just like- Just go you... on a journey across <laughs> yeah. Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Escape. But don't yeah. call it that because that's yeah, copyright. copyright. Yeah. I'll kill you. Call I'll, it like I'll, Japan journey or something. I was gonna call it- uh, Japan <laughs> journey. <laughs> I was thinking perhaps transportation across Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Moving across Nippon. Each, each day, a different form of transport, a bicycle, a skateboard, a horse. I would watch that. I, a horse. A horse. I feel like we're building something. Here. I feel like I, I, you shouldn't give me a horse because I already call people peasants, like unironically. And I think that'll, that'll raise the bar. You know what I mean? You gotta like, like commit, like fully dressed up like a prince. <laughs> Hello peasants. I actually actually uh, drove across Japan. Not, well, not across Japan. <laughs> I drove in, in Hokkaido recently and that was pretty fun. It was pretty Driving relaxing. Hokkaido. Yeah, it was really relaxing. There was no snow, thank God. Oh wow. But it was really chill. It was nice. Where'd you go? I went for, I drove from Toyako to uh what did I drive? Hakodate? Like Sapporo. Oh no, no. Did you get in the Bori Betsy? The hot springs? Uh, I did stop there, but then I was like, fuck, it's, it's, it's hot, isn't it? I was like, there's kind of like nothing else here. Uh, it? uh, <laughs> it's like Japan's like number three hot resorts. Is it actually? Resort. It's like one of the yeah. biggest, best yeah. hot spring resorts in Japan. Nothing I, here. I, was, I was hungry. <laughs> Where's McDonald's? Where, where's the Burger King oh, there? Eh? <laughs> in the Hokkaido. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was chill. Uh, it was I'll go back you again. You gotta go back now. And there, was the, there, was the, there was the go-to travel thing. So I saved a fuck ton of money. That's, that's insane. So Japan, inside of the Japan for mm. domestic travelers, they're actually giving you 30, 35% off mm. your trip. Mm. So the yeah. hotel, transportation. And then when you got to your hotel, they gave you vouchers as well. Yeah. yeah. Like so it's yeah, so like, I, to spend at like the nearby, yeah. like the town's like food. So I stayed in a place that was like $500 a night normally. Mm. And it was down to 300. And it included like an eight course gourmet meal. Damn. And it was like a private onsen. And then on top of that, they're like, here's $200 to spend, which you can also spend to pay on like stuff in the hotel, which I was like, wow. That's that's epic. That is. <laughs> Sounds very familiar. Because we got like five hundred dollars of vouchers or something one night on journey across Japan, and we spent it all in Family Mart. Oh yeah, that's alright. <laughs> yeah, you can spend it anywhere. Because we had like one day to spend it, and you can only spend it in the same prefecture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because like that. four of us had stayed in one hotel room. We got a so what did you? What did you buy? Just like a fuck ton of booze and snacks. Really. <laughs> five hundred dollars worth. Yeah. Like beer well, there were, well, there, yeah, there was four of us. So it was like a hundred bucks worth of. I just could, could you, yeah. could you really imagine? Weird, yeah. Could you imagine something like that happening in the UK? It yeah. would be oh, fucking. It would. It would be a fucking frenzy if you told people that thirty percent off plus get free money to spend. The Japanese government just went mental with this, like. and they're extending it now as well. Did you see that? Oh god, they're extending yeah. it until originally like June was, or something. Yeah, originally, it was until the end of March, right? Yeah, but now it's until like June, July, something like that. It's just crazy because stuff's already. I think the stuff is pretty cheap already here, travel mm, yeah. wise, mm -hmm. compared I, to the UK. I didn't realize how much Japan's economy relied on tourism until I moved to Japan. And I've, <laughs> I've realized how how much people like value tourism here, yeah. like traveling. I mean, it's scary. Like uh, in like July, uh, me and Aki went up to Kyoto for our like mm. anniversary. Right. And I've- it was dead. I've yeah. never, it was scary. I've never seen Kyoto that empty in my life. And we went on a week, like we went to Inari Taisha, the, the thousand- Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, yeah. We were there as well. Yeah, yeah. on a yeah. weekend. It was like a Saturday at like 1 PM. So Jesus. normally I would never go there on a weekend. Yeah. And when I, when we, we went, there was like four people there. Yeah, I went, yeah. I went there as well as no one there. It was scary. Oh, it's yeah. because of you telling me that a uh, few weeks ago that I'm actually going to Kyoto tomorrow. Oh, a really? Week. So I'm just gonna be walking around. And yeah. Probably perfect time to film yeah. there. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was actually like a ghost town, all of Kyoto. It I, was I, like, I, there was no I one. I can't imagine going there now when the country opens back up. Yeah. I, I had like the best experience being like, oh, Kyoto is pretty chill, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. No tourists, no, no nothing. Yeah. That, um, was the, yeah, that was literally my impression of it. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. now that I like, I've seen pictures of what Kyoto is usually like, and it looks like literally my hell. Oh, it's ridiculous. 
pretty much never want to go back. You know, yeah. Taisha is like, you go on a weekend or like even a weekday, mm. it's just yeah. shoulder to shoulder people yeah. everywhere you go. Cause like one thing that really turns me off going anywhere, if it's like a big tourist, yeah. like yeah. I hate yeah. crowds and I hate, you know, seeing seeing the seeing the tourist selfie, like five people doing the same fucking poses and the same fucking selfies. Yeah. I'd rather just like chill out at my fucking hotel at that point. <laughs> yeah. Well, now's the perfect place to, um, to perfect time to go to like Osaka, Kyoto, all those places. I just like being fucking lazy. I just like on, on a vacation, I don't want to go to a museum or anything like that. Yeah, what, do you, what do you want to do in Kyoto, Connor? Nothing, absolutely nothing. fucking not. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do the obligatory, all right, fine, let's go and see the shit. And then for the other days- <laughs> Go and see the shit. Go and see go the fucking- I want to watch a travel series with you in it. It would just be-, <laughs> just be I, went, I, went, I went to that like the-, the a thousand, what is, what is it? A thousand know, shrine. And I'm like, oh, it's, 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 it's <gasps> cool. And I'm like, when, it. I'm like, where are we eating though? What, what's, what food? <laughs> Me and Connor are exactly the same in that sense. I, because yeah. like, is, is it like, when you go on a trip with someone yeah. and they bring out a schedule, I'm just like, oh God. No, no, right. no. Tell no. me the restaurants we're going to. Yeah, what are they like, specializing? <laughs> and also, are we gonna have at least four meals a day? If not, I'm gonna have a problem. Because when I travel, I want four meals a day. Like I'm just gonna eat, eat, eat. Like I don't. I'm just an absolute. But you pig. can do that, and also in no, between the can't. meals, you no, can go. No, no, no. It's it's stressful. It's stressful. Like I want I want to go to a place, and I just want to have no pressure to go anywhere. Yes. yes. If I want to go see something, I will go see something. But like mm. if 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 I feel like I'm pressured into going somewhere, that just automatically makes me not want to go somewhere. Yeah. Unless right. it's a unless well, it's a nice yeah, restaurant. Also, it's can... like my, it's vacation, right? I don't want to fucking work. <laughs> You know, I, I'd work walking places. <laughs> I'd, I'd wow. Going to see would the you, shrine. Would you ever consider being a tour guide for your viewers for the right price? Sure, Chris. I'll, I'll, She'll I'll do anything I'll, for the right price. Oh, yeah. I don't mind. I mean, doing the. Oh, I, we can't talk about that yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. It was the uh, trash taste special. That, that was a nice view that we had. I, oh, I could yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. that. But then also at the same time, it's like, this is fun for 10 seconds. But then what are we eating? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, but let's be real. Like, we, like we probably would have not gone there if it wasn't yeah. for. To be fair, yeah. I, I don't like. For me, when I go to a place, I don't remember what I saw or what I did. I remember what I ate. <laughs> is that is that is why is that? That's not weird. Come that's on, that's not weird. I, I'm, it's I'm, a bit, I'm the same. I mean, I I I don't remember I, what I did in Hokkaido, but I remember the meals like really? vi vivid, vividly. I'm I'm kind of the opposite. I had a actually. big fat crab, and they murdered that crab in front of me, and it was delicious. I, I I'm actually no, the Chris. Added to like, the flavor. I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Poor old king crab. I, I, as much as like you know, I love the food, like especially in like Hokkaido, yeah, yeah. you yeah. know, wherever I am, and you know, especially anywhere you go in Japan, the food's yeah. always going to be good. Yeah. Right? But I don't know, like I'm always kind of the one who was like, yes, I remember going here, 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 here. I'm more I of a don't. location person yeah. than a food person. I'll, I'll just, just see like a tourist thing pop up, and I oh, I went there, it's a bit shit. <laughs> Well, maybe that's maybe that's the problem. You're kind of going into it with like a negative mentality, right? I just want to eat. No, like, it's I, just like, I, so, so, like what what is what is so special about this place? Like, yeah. I I I, th I think I grew up with it because every, anytime my parents would take me to this place, mm. we'd like take take the tourist pictures. Oh my god, yeah, my parents would mm. do that. As yeah, well. and I'm just like, I don't fucking uh. care. I just want to be in my hotel room and play my fucking Game Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> Sometimes you just want to chill in the hotel room and that's just fair. like oh, get some food and watch I, I the, think, the I shit. I think you just like don't like traveling. <laughs> no, I love traveling. But I right. hate doing as tourist as stuff. Food. I, as I, as I, as I food. like being in a new place. I just don't like actively going mm. to. I like the environment. Yeah, I like yeah, a new yeah. environment. I don't give a shit about like spots, I, hot well, spots. I want to meet. I want to meet people. Have I like chat, drink, yeah. and just eat and chill. I like, want to do I, something I active. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Some, something active. To me, like going to a place and taking pictures is not like an active thing that I enjoy. Mm. I, like, if if there's like an activity there or something I could do. And yeah, great. I'll fucking go well, to it. Well, it's it's weird for me because I like I, I don't go to the locations to take photos. If anything, I very rarely take photos at tourist locations mm. because I feel that by taking a photo of something, it's like the only thing you're going to remember is what's in the photo. Whereas like I want to rem I want to actually remember and that's me some going hipster there. shit right there, Joe. <laughs> then rather than like <laughs> taking I'm the opposite. I just forget everything. So I need yeah, to have like, I do a photo. Oh, really? Yeah. Like and, and that like re rekindles the memories really? that I've lost. But because with my with my trip to Kyoto, like, yeah. I've got no plan though. Like going yeah. on what you guys have been saying. Like yeah. th this time I'm there for a week, no plan. Is it vacation or are you filming? Kind of half and half. Like okay, I'm doing okay. a documentary on old uh, dilapidated Kyoto houses that have been redone and mm. whatnot. Mm -hmm. That'd be really yeah. nice, but like really no plan. Right. Hope to just walk around and see what I can kind of find. Yeah. yeah. Also, I like the feeling of discovery as well. I, I like mm. going somewhere and not knowing what I'm gonna see. If it's right, like, right. if it's all planned and you know, 
people have like researched this place. And I'm like, mm. I know a really cool place because I've read up, read about it and everything. It feels less special than just like driving around and seeing a cool place and just being right. like, that I, sounds, that looks cool. That's, I that's, did, that's I, I mean, you're completely right. Like I, my um, cousin came over last year to Kyoto. We had like one day and we literally just got in a taxi. I was like, go to King Gakuji, go to the Fushimi and Ari, we'll just do it. Yeah. Went to all these like five places. It was all right. He saw everything, got the photos, but it wasn't really any good memories or experiences yeah. from it as a result. Well, I mean, I, I don't like, space. whenever I go somewhere, I'm not the one to be like, all right, these are all the tourist locations. Let's go here. Like I'm yeah. still very like picky choosy on where I want to go. Yeah. Yeah, cause, right. Cause to me, it feels like playing an open world game where you have all the, like the checkpoints like marked out mm. already. Well, I like a Breath of the Wild kind of experience where I'm just like exploring Breath that place. Yeah, I mean, that's- You that's, do get that in Kyoto though. Like Kyoto, you really do feel oh, yeah. like a yeah. video game. You can discover little shrines, little restaurants. Yeah. Oh, there's bars, so many. Coffee shops, yeah. there's so many cool well, well, especially with Kyoto, I actually, if anything, I avoid taking the trains anywhere. I, mm, we, yeah. we always walk from one location to another because <clears> the walk the along the way is where you find all the cool shit. Right? Yeah. And then on top of that, you get to go to a tourist destination. So it's like best of both worlds in my opinion. Absolutely. Yeah, like yeah. for me, my my ultimate holiday or my ultimate tourist spot <laughs> is just put me in like a cool place and just don't tell me anything about that place and just right. let me discover yeah, it same, myself. Same. Mm. Fuck. It was so hot in Kyoto. I remember I was sweating my ass off there. Well, when did you awful. go? In, we in the summer, summer. Like July or something. Yeah, we went there too. It was I, I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> did not like that. Did not like Japanese summer. It was as bad as everyone said it was going to be, but I thought everyone was exaggerating. So I was like, there's no way it can be that awful, but it was. No, it's pretty bad. Finna open this sake and have a bit of a taste test. So Chris, what are your New Year's resolutions for this year? <laughs> to be on trash taste. <laughs> a third time. <laughs> a, uh, third time. a third time. A third time. After time. this, after this. Wow. Yeah. Well, you are the first guest of uh, 2021. As and the, the first news. reoccurring first guest. Reoccurring first reoccurring, reoccurring guest. guest. And I got my thing up on the wall. Yeah. I love you yeah. guys, especially Jay. <laughs> how, how do you feel with next to all, all these like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little more all elaborate skitties. I put, up, I put a lot more effort into theirs than I did. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I was like scribbling it the last minute before I got on a train or something. <laughs> um, New Year's resolution, get into shape. I think I say that every year. Uh, every, I mean, I, that's that every like year. the most generic right, New Year's resolution anyone could- uh, Are you actually going for. to though? I would, I would do something really bold, right? Okay, I'm, right. Gonna, I'm gonna say, I wanna make Natsuki famous. My good friend Natsuki. I, th oh, I would yeah. argue famous. that Natsuki is kind of already famous. Like yeah. world level, global, Tom Cruise level famous. Is that, <laughs> is that possible? How would, you, how would you go about doing something like that? I think at first you would have to get to that point, right? <laughs> you said I'm not world famous. <laughs> The yeah, world frame is Chris Brawl. Fucking hell, Joey. That's a lot, isn't it? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. No, it just takes I'm going to be in a hospital by the end of this. Right. Oh, for hers as well. Oh. Oh, for oh. him. Is it smell him good? and hers. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> fact. Depending on how you drink sake, like in a cup or a glass, it smells and tastes differently. Oh, that's that's oh, kind of like how wine works, right? Because if your, your nose is over the glass, you get more of the scent. Oh, it's the commonly, no, it, commonly known. Commonly known. Yeah. Commonly yeah. known. Right? Right? <laughs> Somebody's going to destroy me in the comments. He's wrong about everything. <laughs> Um, anyway, it's okay. No, no, nobody comes here for, for oh, actual cheers. knowledge. Cheers, 2021. 2021. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make it a good one. Yes. Let's see how this tastes then, Chris. If you've got shit taste. See if you've got the trash taste on. That's easy. That's taste. very smooth. <laughs> uh, that goes down smoothly. Oh, yeah. very it felt smooth. like James Bond where they have to say the title of the Bond yeah. film every time. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys ever had a new year's Oh, come off it. <laughs> oh my God. That's good. That costs like. $12 that dollars. <laughs> that's, that's He's being stuff. a baby. That's, ex <laughs> that's expensive for Psyche, dude. Yeah, some, yeah. These, some Psyche bottles are like four bucks. No expense spared for you, Connor. It tastes like a sour barrel. Oh. <laughs> but thank you, Chris. Is that I cultural appropriation? <laughs> You're disrespectful to Listen, the people. Yeah, you're disrespectful to the people who made the sake. You disgust me. <laughs> oh my God. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just, it's. I don't really drink like strong liquor. <laughs> I'm a bit of a, I'm a, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a little bitch with that stuff. I won't lie. Yeah, I'll do I'll is. do a shot reluctantly, but you know when we go out to yeah a cigar bar or whatever, we'll, we'll go, go to yeah. a cigar bar. Yeah, we went. Yeah, to, we, we went got, to a cigar we're gonna bar. Take we're gonna you. take you. Oh my yeah, god, Chris, yeah. come on. So we'll I'm go, and really. these boys will be like, we have to get whiskey because we're, we're civilized men, you know. And I'm like, I'll have the pinkest drink that you have, <laughs> and I have no problem with doing that because I know what I like, Chris. Does the drink name have the word bitch in it? I'll <laughs> have it. <laughs> <laughs> Which one has glitter in it? Tell me that. Have you brought no. out your own like trash taste sake yet? No, oh my no. God. alcohol range. Is trash that is that, is that something you could hook up for us, Chris? Do you know certainly a guy? Is, you know, can we, can we, yeah. Shall we make that uh, a new user resolution for trash taste? Release a trash, trash taste, taste sake. sake. I want to each like make the drink. You could like choose what's in the sake or the beer. You could. Can we actually do that with each person? Yeah. 
Wait, Chris, and my sake brewery that I have now. Wow. <laughs> in my imagination. Can we have, uh, what we need, <laughs> right. we need to do that for a special and have Chris be the, the chief taste yeah. tester. I would be up for that. You would, would you? of course I would you would. Do would. That. Of course. Okay, okay. I would the best well, sake. I've actually looked into like crafting my own beer and your own wine, and apparently yeah. it's illegal in Japan. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. even though you can buy kits in Japan, but it's illegal to make it, but you can buy the kits. Well, the, what the fuck you do with the kits? You just <laughs> prop it up on a shelf. It's like my a prize a sake building kit. Well, it's, just, it's got like they have uh, like radios as well. Like when yeah. we did, uh, when we got walkie talkies. I, the, the laws in Japan were really strict with walkie talkies, mm. given that you can't use some frequencies. Half the shit on Amazon in Japan is like the illegal it's frequencies. Illegal. And it's like, why are these being <laughs> sold? What? Good God. <laughs> did you get like police on it while you were- you, you could, you might accidentally get like the police like picking you up, you know, being Let's like- the FBI It'd be pretty it. scary, wouldn't it? So- <laughs> You're on the other end of it. <laughs> oh, 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 do I see your ass? And then a police, <laughs> of, police officer's like- <laughs> oh, Talking shit joke. to you. Oh my God. I, I, think, I was trying to ask this earlier, but have you guys ever had a new year's resolution that you've actually kept to? Or like, have you guys actually had a New Year's resolution period? I did actually have one to lose weight. And I did actually lose weight that year. How much? Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, uh, I think I one lost eight, eight kilograms that year. Eight kilograms? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's oh, good. was that the year where you, you ate nothing chunky. but chicken and broccoli? Yeah, yeah. I was, I, was, I, I, you... I was a bit of a chonker, dude. That was <laughs> a little bit of a chubby no, boy. That's the thing though. I, like, I, you know, you were saying like, oh yeah, I want to lose dude, weight. Dude, look at my old videos, no, dude. No, I was chubby. Like I have old photos of you and like you're in some of my old videos as well. Mm. And back then I was like, no, he's, he's mm, fine. He, yeah. he, he looks yeah. like a healthy way. Chicken but then I look at you now. <laughs> Why are you laughing at my meals, Chris? <laughs> you with like chicken and broccoli every day. Uh, yeah, it was, it was bowl, depressing. Like, it was fucking not awful. Again. <laughs> yeah. like, 200 days, I, I pretty, day 100, <laughs> chicken and broccoli. I, I pretty much just it was like, all right, the highlight of my day was the protein shake, which was somewhat sweet. I was like, oh, this is amazing. Oh, oh. Do you have chicken and broccoli in it? No, oh sadly. God. I would have my it's like- chicken and broccoli in a blender. It, it would be like white chocolate protein shake and it would not taste like white chocolate. And then I would go home and be depressed and eat, eat and cook fucking chicken, chicken and, and broccoli, broccoli for like the fifth time that week. Oh my, I, just, oh I just imagine you like in the supermarket and your trolley's just full of nothing my, but chicken my and broccoli. My roommate hated it because I, it, we would take turns cooking. Right? right, so they would cook something, and, yeah. and I, you know, if it was if it was not not very good for you, all right, fine, you know. But then I'd be like, guess what? We're having tonight. <laughs> guess what I'm making tonight? It chicken and broccoli. It, it's the Connor specialty. It's steamed chicken and broccoli. I think that should be your resolution for this year: chicken, and, chicken broccoli and broccoli on a daily basis <laughs> for the whole year. To be fair. Not not that difficult because in the in the family mart you can get those uh, chicken tikka breasts. So did you like mix up the dish every day? Like one day it was like chicken and broccoli and a curry. Next day, no, it was oh, just. Oh my god! So, so it's literally just chicken and broccoli. It's literally just steamed I would, chicken and broccoli. I would I would boil the broccoli and I would chuck the chicken uh, in the <laughs> oven <laughs> with uh, with some like peri peri like seasoning, and that was it every day. Let's make a, a, a sea dog va cookbook. Just yeah. Chicken <laughs> and broccoli <laughs> cookbook. I feel so page. sorry for Cena, man. <laughs> the thing, I mean, okay, it's. It's like, hmm. it's tough because at the time, I think the problem is now is that I socialize. <laughs> because I think when you act, social when, when you actually point. have friends that you go out with, because yeah. in the UK, you don't actually go out that much with your friends. Like I think, I think it's, it's a bit of an no, event. In the UK, it's more of like a weekend thing, right? Yeah, but, whereas, but the, yeah, yeah, yeah right. whereas moving to Japan, especially as a YouTuber, you do it in the week a lot. Yeah, you go out during the week a lot, even if it's mm. just going to go out for like lunch or a dinner. I, yeah, I think I meet people for, lunch or dinner at least three times a week now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, it's so hard to diet when you're going out and you're having lunches and you're, yeah. and, you know, cause normally when you have lunch on your own, you might have a sandwich. When yeah. you go to a restaurant to have lunch, it's always just, it's so fucking much. Yeah. Why, why, why have you got that face, Chris? <laughs> Chicken and broccoli. <laughs> 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 so if you don't socialize, it's really easy to just feed yourself fucking garbage and just like, you'd be like, all right, like, fucking chicken and broccoli. Right. Okay. Yeah, and, I mean, in the UK, you go out to meet a mate and it's either a sesh yeah. or a harder sesh yeah. or like a fucking disgusting And you have like a fucking sesh. giant curry you know? or a kebab, you know, yeah. and you fucking kill yourself. But if you're at home, you know, it's really easy to just eat a lot of broccoli. <laughs> I, I could probably eat chicken and broccoli if it was peri peri seasoning. Honestly, like I yeah, because like when you said like chicken and broccoli, I thought like no, like maybe like salt and pepper. Yeah, yeah. salt and pepper. But if yeah, it's of like course, of course. Peri peri seasoning or like some kind of like yeah. marinade, then it's a little better. Not right? much. So I would I would buy this like prepackaged garbage, and it would like you would have to put it on the chicken before you cooked it. Right. And they yeah. would say like, oh, it'd be in the picture, it looked like absolutely coated. But what, what would end up happening is one splodge of this chicken would have a fuck ton of seasoning, <laughs> and the rest of the chicken was bone dry because I just 
burnt the shit yeah, out like, of it. I, I got I got desperate the other day, and I was like really missing. I was really missing. I was really missing Nando's. And I looked right. up. Oh. I looked up if there was like anywhere you could import Nando sauce. It was like fifty quid for a bottle Whoa, of Nando sauce. Hell. And I, I I was just like. <sighs> And I click the buy button. And I, I've never <laughs> felt so disappointed at myself that I've gotten to the point where I've spent 50 quid to buy a bottle of Nando sauce. How much, how, how much sauce are we talking? Like, it's, it's like, it's it's like a medium bottle. So it's like, it's not even that big. I, I was I was just missing Nando so much. I miss Perry Perry, man. I miss my Perry Perry chicken. <laughs> how much wealth is too much? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be worth it when you, Plop it on your feed. Oh, plop it on your so wait, chicken wait. and broccoli. What's, what's, what's the Chris Broad diet then? If you're mocking my <laughs> my know. chicken and broccoli, are you what just fucking winging it? Just every day you wake up, you're like, fuck it, might have a chicken I mean, tikka. The only thing I can cook is omelets. So it's, it's either That's omelets it. or more omelets. Or omelets. Yeah. Wait, so what, what, are you, what are you eating when you're dieting then? Omelets, isn't it? Just omelets every meal. <laughs> you like it's like oh it's five o'clock. You know what time that is? Another omelet. <laughs> well, you, can, you can mix it up though. You can have like cheese in it. You can have chicken. You can't have cheese when you're dieting. <laughs> chicken and broccoli omelet. You shouldn't be having cheese when you're dieting, Chris. Come on, that's it's, it's awful protein, for you. Isn't it? Protein. Cheese. So is protein. So is chicken and broccoli. You know. You know what would spice up an omelet? <laughs> chicken and broccoli. <laughs> Take the trash taste diet, ladies and gentlemen. Take chicken and broccoli for a week. You, you don't. You don't lose on chicken and broccoli, Chris. You just you win. Have, you, just you, win. you should try a chicken and broccoli omelet next. Yeah. Be my next. I also. Yeah. I also uh, did, followed this strange YouTube guy that was like. It was apparently this this uh, soup that would make you lose weight because it would have negative calories. What? Um, but you would have was like it, mad fat. <laughs> well, essentially, yeah, because you would put. Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 How would you have negative calories? So the ingredients in it would actually make you like were, so like celery, for like example, celery, right. it was had a lot of celery in it. So right. you would end up, it actually took more calories to quote unquote, eat, like digest it than it was to eat it. Really? And I would make this giant thing of it. And it was, it was just a bunch of fucking vegetables, like onions, cabbage, like fine. Because you would put like uh, onion, um, onion soup powder in it uh. and like a can of tin tomato. So it just tastes like a shitty minestrone soup. Right. But you would have like, a giant fucking bowl of this shit. And you're like, oh my God, oh my God. 20 minutes later, your stomach is still full, but you're like, I'm hungry. Right. I'm so hungry. And you're full, but you're like, you're farting nonstop as well. It was awful. <laughs> I couldn't stop farting. And That's the all the calories. Yeah, and, and the, yeah. Comment, the comments on this video are all about how people cannot stop farting eating this. <laughs> And about how it's causing problems. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, yeah. That's that's what you use all the calories for, like for the violent shit. Honestly, it was embarrassing. Day. I was on like the train. Like, I, I I just every time I managed to hold one in, ten seconds later, another one would claw its way out. Uh, and I was I was like, so I just give up and start farting because <laughs> yeah. I was also trying to exercise as well. And there's nothing worse than needing to fart while you're running because how do you you because when you that's how you shot yourself because because when you're sitting down, you can kind of like. <laughs> You can gauge if there's a solid. You can kind of like right? you can kind of maneuver it out. You know, what I mean? you know, what I mean? you can kind of like like massage it out of your cheeks. But you're farting and when you're running. It's like, do I just let this boy come out at yeah. full speed? But then you realize the treadmill's so fucking loud that you're like, just fart away. Yeah, no yeah. one's gonna care. Disgrace. <laughs> That's disgraceful. Fuck off, you're a British gentleman. <laughs> there's no way they'll hear because I'm fucking on the treadmill. <laughs> Well, I told you my New Year's resolution, but like, okay. and you said like, is there a resolution you can keep? The only way is to do like, become a better person. Keep it vague, <laughs> right? And then you can decide the parameters on the fly. How many, how many times? Like, oh, yeah. yeah. if, if it's at that point, become then you might as well person. just say, stay alive. Yeah. Yeah. Become a better person. Eat food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat this shit. Take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's your resolution? I never really like made resolutions because like I used to when I was little because my, my entire family would. So I was like, oh, I guess I have to make one too. Yeah. But then I don't think I've ever kept a resolution my entire life. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's because I'm too over ambitious with my resolutions. Right. Like what are the they? Most <laughs> the most ambitious re resolution yeah. you've ever seen. Oh, I don't know. YouTuber <laughs> edition. I, I, my, Top 10 <laughs> ambitions. My, my New Year's resolution this year is to do a video with Chris Broad Whoa. on my channel. Cheers but I don't know what the fuck to do with you, Chris. Broccoli and chicken. <laughs> chicken and broccoli special. <laughs> with an omelet. <laughs> with an omelet. <laughs> Abroad in a pan. My spin off Abroad channel. Abroad in a pan. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> Master Chef with Chris yeah, Broad, so who makes the best omelet. You ever heard of omelets before? <laughs> it's gonna be great. Uh, I, my real resolution though is to do a life-changing event. 
this year. <laughs> what does that mean, Chris? It's positive. Something good. Something That's big. positive. What's, I mean, a big what, life changing what's, what's, what, what counts as a life changing event? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds really bad, like breaking my arm for fun. But like. <laughs> 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 what? Well, you know, like making something or doing a challenge, like doing a really crazy challenge that right. is like amazing and wow. Mm. It's very vague, isn't it? How about, like, how about please help me with ideas in the comments. How about a race across Japan? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, across Japan, race, Ra Skate race to, to Mount Fuji, race to Mount Fuji again. <laughs> but I, I want to do something really big, a really stupid and awesome that will define me for the rest of my life. It'll define, I mean, and that, that is my New Year's resolution. That's like a fucking massive goal. Because how would you yeah. define? Yeah, I was about to say, don't be over, too overambitious. Right? Like that's You're talking about overambitious. Yeah, that's hell or overambitious. Why not? Why not? I'm, I'm I 31 want, this year. I want Chris to have his own NHK show. I want Chris on TV. Put his own NHK TV. Yeah. I want your own not TV show. I want your yeah. own TV show I'm called Are You YouTuber, <laughs> where, you, where you interview different YouTubers. I mean, I've, I've yeah. <laughs> have a, have a like a like a street interview thing where you go up to like random foreigners in Japan and go, Are, are you, you YouTuber? YouTuber? <laughs> oh god. I mean, yeah. I've have a second TED talk. A second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How that, can you? How that, can you that, top that? That's like, that, yeah, that's yeah, like that, my you know goal. That's, you that's, that's my resolution. I want. I want to do a TED talk on what? Anything? Anything? Animated? Anything. Anything. Animated. Yeah, anything. Uh, I don't like, fucking know. If if the offer comes up and it's like I don't care if it's like YouTube based or anime based or I don't know I maybe just Japanese imagine based or something. Dear fucking. Joey, the University of Tokyo needs your help. We need anime titty expert for our for our TED for our centerpiece TED talk. I mean, I've, I've seen so many TEDx talks where I just like, there's not a, a whole lot of like educational value. It's TEDx, just fun. The problem yeah. with TED talks in general is that they'll pr often propose a problem like the world's going to end mm. and they'll mm. make you depressed. And then you're kind of waiting for a solution. They're like, well, and then they're like, good luck with that, everyone. And then they walk <laughs> off stage. It's like, you told us the problem. Great. What's the solution? I, right. I feel like they don't do that enough in a lot of TED talks. My favorite right. one is when they talk about something for like 20 minutes and they segue into the actual topic and there's like three minutes left. <laughs> Those are my favorite TED talks. <laughs> but that's what I've noticed, right? Like a lot of TEDx talks are just kind of, let's get this person who's really passionate about something and just mm. make them spew their passion for 15 to 20 minutes. Spew yeah. their passion. Well, I, I think uh, Adam Savage did a really good one, right? About yeah, he's uh, cosplay. a love letter to cosplay. That was right? really good. Yeah, that one was really good. It had I haven't, haven't seen that one. Yeah, it's it's basically him just saying like, yeah, I've been to uh, comic cons and comic conventions for the past like 15 years and I've always cosplayed at one of them. So apparently there was a, I forgot which wow. one it was, but there was like, I think it was like New York Comic Con or something where he cosplayed as, um, uh, no face from Spirited Away. Mm. You know, in that one, it's like a full on costume. Right. Yeah. And because the character doesn't talk, no one knew it was him until after oh. the convention when he said, yeah, that was me. That's trippy. And everyone was like, but I talked to you, I took a photo with you, what? <laughs> That's pretty cool. But didn't Brian Cranston cosplay as Brian Cranston from like <laughs> Breaking Bad? Like, no, no, he likes, like, he actually? no, no, he wore like a Brian Cranston mask yeah. in like one of the Comic Cons yeah. and like, you know, wore like the Walter White yeah. costume and just walked around and no one knew it was Brian Cranston oh, the that's entire so time. Awesome. That is insane. We gotta cook, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow, you do a really good impression. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That'd be cool. Yeah, I guess my new year's resolution is to get a schedule for my uploads, I think. I good think, one, Khan, yeah. good one, good one, yeah. appreciate it. Like, you've been saying that for the past 10 years, I reckon. As long as I've known Garth, there has been a, 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 a ma like mystical schedule somewhere <laughs> that exists in the sky. I mean, I can relate to you. What, what dictates your schedule? Because my schedule used to be really chaotic. Yeah, uh, right now, like before, okay, so there was my schedule before Trash Taste and then after Trash Taste. And before Trash Taste, I there was less of a schedule, but at least I could guarantee, hey, I will make like at least two videos a month mm. and it will come out. And now it's just, okay, I finished the video. Um, <laughs> I don't know when the next video is going to be. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, I mean, my, my personal schedule this year, mm. especially for the last six months has been like way more chaotic compared to my entire five year career on like YouTube or whatever. It's, it's, it's fine, 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 fine. You managed to get a schedule for Trash Taste in six months and you've been doing your own channel for 13 years <laughs> yeah. and you still can't get a schedule going. Oh boy. <laughs> it's weird talking to Joey and Connor and hanging out with them and like, and hearing how you can be ahead of the schedule and have videos planned out ahead. And I'm just like, what is this five head move that I've never heard of before? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like that would just fucking, that would freak me and stress me the fuck out if I brought out a video and and I had nothing, nothing else ready, yeah. Welcome Prepared. to welcome to my world, Joey. Yeah, yeah. well, welcome to my I world. I don't know how you two do it. Like, do you, well, the pressure's on to make the videos count. Do you, yeah. do you not right. feel like though, like the, the moment, count. like you can't enjoy your weekend or whatever, because sometimes you're just worrying about like, fuck, I haven't got the video done. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that that yeah. is that is a big problem that I'm trying to solve. 
Like yeah. I see you guys on weekends, I'm just like, whoa, these the guys don't stress <laughs> about well, making videos at I, all. I, I try, try to. Be to try, try, try to take at least Saturday and su uh, and maybe Sunday off, but yeah. I always try at least take one day off yeah. where I don't do something. Yeah, I but I normally always fail. I, yeah, I always try and take at least like two days off. Like it doesn't have to be a weekend, just any two days within the week, just a day where I'm just not working on a video, not planning anything, just chilling, doing hobbies or whatever. Yeah. Maybe I should just change. Otherwise, I'd go in. Oh, yeah. I mean, just make simpler <laughs> videos like me just reacting. Yeah, <laughs> Chris <laughs> reacting yeah, to people reacting to Chris. Videos. But here's the thing: it's like uh, at least my personal goal for 2021 of YouTube is to be like a lot more ambitious in my videos. But the, the problem with more ambitious- Why content, are you laughing? Why? <laughs> what do you mean by ambitious? As, like, as in like videos that take more Life preparation changing. to like uh. actually film and kind of construct and you know, a lot more like narrative based, I guess yeah. that requires a little more preparation than just writing a script or just mm. flicking on a camera and starting to mm. talk, right? Yeah. Um, but the problem is with that is that if I want to also maintain a schedule, which I would like to, <clears> then I also have to, plan things way ahead of time as well. Right. So yeah. like, as of right now, I am like about a month and a half ahead in terms oh of videos. God, yeah, I have like- Yeah, I know, right? I, I've, I've, I've like, that, that's my exact reaction. Like, I've fuck got, you. Like, the next video <laughs> filmed and I've got to edit it. And yeah. then I've got like another two ready to go. But like- Yeah, I've already yeah. filmed like six mm. videos. It's just oh, waiting to get edited. Fuck. Yeah, cause I, I think hanging out with you guys, I've realized I've just kind of normalized working every day. And then mm. I, I realized that's just not normal. Yeah. <laughs> right. And well, but the, the thing is, is that like, I'm also working every day, but also, you know, making content for the anime man channel is not the only thing I do now. Yeah. Mm. You know, I have like trash taste and I have like my other hobbies that I want to, you been, know. You've in. been everywhere the last few months. Yeah. Cause like you've collabed with like everyone and their mum over the last three months. <laughs> Pretty so much, like yeah. Joe, it's Joey again, oh, it's Joey there. Yeah, but, but even in my videos, he's there. Yeah, he's like everywhere, it's mental. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, yeah, so many people are like, like I think I think one, there was one week where you uploaded an episode of Journey Across Japan, and then I was I, I also did a video Jack on the same day. As well. Yeah, 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 yeah. And people are like, how is he at home filming with Jack it's magic. when he's on a road trip with Chris <laughs> right now? How can he do it? How is he doing it? I don't know. Speaking did he like go back home quickly and then like join up again with Chris <laughs> afterwards? <laughs> like, magic. Yeah, everywhere. Logistics. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I would like to get more collab into my content. That's mm. another New Year's resolution. I want to make, mm. want to shift my content that's more friendly for collabs. Cause like, mm. I don't think I've, I think I've done one collab in my life. Um, and that's been pretty much it for my entire time on YouTube. And that's just because my content doesn't really lend well for mm. collabs mm. because yeah, yeah. The, the only the only way I could collab if I is like, if I could have like a guest reviewer and <clears throat> like the what I think when I see guest reviewer is like, remember those like all oh, that guy with the glasses I hate that. review collabs where it's just like, hey, here's an expert on the subject. And it would be like the most awkward scripted <laughs> Joke to introduce them, and, and then, they're, then they're not as charismatic, and it's yeah. like, oh well, I kind of. I've, I've made those videos in my, back in my day, <laughs> where like when I had like more of like the the scripted like rant type of videos, yeah. I would always have like a friend of mine come in, being like, "What are you doing here? We had that, that, that exact Whoa, thing. I'm Whoa. here to talk about this. It. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's just so not. <laughs> What like, is that? that that's I what it was like. literally what it was yeah. like. Right. Just like how you would, you would how did this man get a YouTube <laughs> channel? How did he make it grow? That's what yeah, I wanted. It was, it was like, it was the most like unnatural, like Guy Fieri-esque, like, <laughs> I'm here now, let's talk about whatever, you know? The, the worst parts, the worst, the worst ones were when it was scripted as if you both didn't know you were going to be in this video. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's the, whoa, what are you doing here type yeah, of thing. Yeah. So like, you can make that funny, but when it's like a scripted type of like discussion based video, there is no natural mm. way to write that mm. in a script. I've always found it awkward and cringy as fuck. Yeah. And, and that's why I stopped doing it. Cause yeah. I look back at those videos. I'm like, oh, that was a mistake. Right. I yeah. shouldn't have done that. And I guess like I've been in plenty of collabs <coughs> this year and I kind of realized, ah, this is, this is kind of fun. I want to do I, this stuff. I'm the same. I, I didn't really collab much. You were the first person I did a collab with on the original journey across Japan. Oh yeah. And you got a bit of hate for it. I find. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. like, you know, at first your viewers are like, who's this person in your videos? They've mm. kind of broken into the world, mm. right? They always feel like it's nice to have that Especially when it's connection. another YouTuber, right? Yeah, yeah another yeah. YouTuber. But this time there was nothing like that. Mm. Everyone loved you because it's been accepted. And I do quite like doing collabs now. It's quite fun. Mm. Yeah. Um, you just have to find the, the balance, of course. You have, to right, you have to find the right people. The right situation. Yeah. 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 Sometimes yeah. like, like you, yeah, you take a look at a. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, sometimes, like I've I've done so many collabs in my time where I've kind of figured out like just because you're friends with a particular YouTuber and just because you guys can you know 
supposedly talk about whatever in your off time, it doesn't necessarily mean that they can be in any video you mm. want on yeah. top. Yeah, and I typically wait until I've known that person like a year or two. Yeah, yeah exactly. You've got another a year. Fuck, Chris. Yeah. Another, I've, got, I've got a calendar yeah. on my wall. <laughs> just count down to collab with Chris. <laughs> It'd be a New Year's resolution for 2022. <laughs> <laughs> your, your New Year's resolution for 2021 is get friendly with Chris. Oh, you also, at the end of the day, it's kind of awkward, right? If uh, like you bring a, non-stop bunch of guests off. And what if they're just yeah. more entertaining than you? <laughs> like <laughs> like uh, constantly, like every single but guest that's you the other bring thing, on. Right? It's like, that's the other thing. Like you, if you hang out with a person enough and that, you know, you especially work in the same field, you yeah. kind of get the idea of like, okay, this is their video, right? Yeah. Like you can't out channel. It's, it's like a uh, unspoken etiquette. Right. You know what I mean, like I'm not gonna like, you know, cause I did my best to not, you know, fucking take too much of the spotlight away from Chris. Cause They'd I'm like, my yeah. spotlight. cause I'm like, this is Chris. like, I understand this is Chris's channel. This is his show. So and I was like, like that in your video when you did the capsule hotel. Yeah, right. Shipping yeah. container. Yeah. And I was just like, I'll just, yeah, cause you, you, in the hammock. you just kind of like follow, you kind of follow their lead, right? Cause yeah. they're, they're going to do the over the top intro mm. or whatever. Yeah. Right, right. So you like, kinda... you kind of just have to learn that through experience. Yeah, you I just, find. you just got to be the, sub, you just got to like <laughs> be subservient. Be, no, 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 no. Be the dog that you are. I was gonna say, be the supporting cast member. Right, right. <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little more positive. Yeah, yeah. Be, subservient. Subservient. be the pet. <laughs> the dog. Oh God. Oh God. Know your place. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Shall we get naked and in the bath now? We're doing a shot. <laughs> And you're that's going to of, like it. That's kind of like what it was. That's what happened with a thousand year old love. Yeah. yeah. Joey, Joey. <laughs> Where is he? Oh God. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I also want to, <laughs> I also want to keep doing collabs as well, but I kind of, again- You're the collab king. Yeah. When I look at it, I look at- Supposedly. People I know who have done collaborations with more YouTube, you all like probably done it more than anyone. Yeah, like, I, from I mean- The man who like, doesn't say no. Eye, you know? Right, <laughs> I, I don't know, I just, I, I don't know. I just have like a, uh, I, f I feel there's like a totally different quality to doing a collab, regardless of what the content might be. Right. Like, yeah. I, in my opinion, if someone told me, okay, you can make a YouTube channel and you can have all these millions of subscribers with millions of views, but you can't collab with anyone. Right. I kind of be like, well, then what's the point? That's a fucking lie. That's <laughs> a <laughs> fuck off. No, because like legit, like, like if, I, if, I were, if I did an entire year <laughs> worth of content, <laughs> if I did an entire- Why are you laughing? <laughs> If I did it like legit, like if I did an entire year worth of content just by myself, <laughs> it wouldn't be fun. It would get I, I, I would be like, it's not fun, but I'm still getting paid. Fuck it, I'll, I'll do I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, lads. This, the suck is hitting, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Go finish the bottle. <laughs> we, I, it's uh, it's delicious. What can I say? Come on, it's fucking fuck, hell. We've all nearly finished. <laughs> It's like, it's like drinking fucking paint cleaner straight from the yeah. barrel. I it shouldn't just be you, Connor. Shouldn't have no, you did Chris. Be you want to be friends with Chris, right? Chris, yeah. probably, video Chris probably, Connor C. Dog you probably VA. bought too much and you were like, fuck it, let's unload one on the boys. That's <laughs> how, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you, Connor? I know, the, I know you have the British mindset. I know how it is with gifts <laughs> and, and, and us, come on. I'm, it's a last minute thing and you're like, oh, fuck it. $12, everything. Connor. I <laughs> I'll pay you $12 to not bring it next time. <laughs> Send it back. <laughs> to get me something else. Get me a wine or something. Who, okay, then like who, say if like gone, uh, Chris, like who is like, other than the people you already know, who is a YouTuber that you would want to probably collab with the most? Well, I mean, Chris, you have to say my name that quickly. I mean, yeah. come on. I, I, oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a really difficult question. Mm. I don't, like, is there a type, or, or like maybe not a particular person, but like, is there a type of YouTuber? Susan like Wojcicki, maybe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Wojcicki, Woj I don't fucking know. It's Susan Wojcicki or something. Wojcicki? Wojcicki? Yeah. Oh, yeah. YouTube CEO, yeah, your best yeah. friend now. Best friend. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Your Twitter. biggest fan. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I couldn't believe it. That was really weird. That was surreal, that. I couldn't believe that either. And also, YouTube, the actual official YouTube channel, commented on our video when we saw Mount Fuji saying congratulations. Oh, was that on our video? I didn't even know YouTube had an official- I, I thought it was the Fukushima video that they commented on. No, they commented on us. Should oh no, that was Susan. Yeah, that was Susan. But yeah, the yeah. YouTube official channel, right. when we saw Fuji, they're like, well done lads. And I was like, is that someone- Hell me? yeah. YouTube has an official <laughs> channel with 35 million subscribers. Yeah, and they yeah. wished us good luck. God so. damn. Thanks YouTube. Thank you YouTube. Now stop demonetizing my content, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know who I'd want to collab with. I, I feel like if I knew who I wanted to collab with, mm. I, I'd you need to- You would have done it by now. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I, I, I need to figure out what, what I, kind I, of I, content I, I would want to do first. Because right. the thing I hate the most is seeing collab content that's Super very forced. obviously collab, yeah. like very forced collab content. Desperate. 
Um, but it's yeah. like, like in your in your recent one, it, it makes sense to have someone else there to play off of, I mean, right? And yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm right here. This guy. <laughs> I mean, Joseph. Unfortunately, I, I refuse to say his name since uh, he took my spot. <laughs> Chris promised his spot for me, and then Joey came in and swooped it away. I couldn't believe it. The audacity. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, oh by the way. Oh, my fucking obviously. God. Oh, you yeah. fucked it. Oh, wow. Uh oh. It's this wine bottle opener. This is oh, this yeah. is the one dollar fucking wine bottle opener for Daiso. Oh, oh, you didn't need to drink that oh, anyway. Oh, cool. that's, that's the wine out the window. It gives it a more earthy texture yeah, anyway. So. This is good wine as well. I fucking picked this out. I used to work at a castle, and I did that an awful lot. When really? I was serving guests, I'd fuck You worked at a castle? Yeah, but what, what, castle? What's significant about the castle here? Hold on a second, you worked at a castle? Well, which yeah, castle? Yeah, I mentioned I, and I served uh, Prince Andrew and Elon Musk. What? Not the what? same night, that'd be mental. But like, what? Wait, how is, how, how is this the first I'm hearing of this? Yeah. I, this is the first time I'm hearing of this from me. Okay, no, no, please, please it's expand. It's not the sake talking. Well, <laughs> Come on. I worked at a castle and Elon Musk had his birthday. Which castle? I can't, I don't really want to say. Windsor? <laughs> well, it's more than Windsor Castle. Well, I don't know. It's the only one Every I know. town in the UK yeah, is a there's, castle. There's like four next there's to where I grew up. All oh, right. Well, yeah, Elon Musk's birthday, and I had to bring out his um, rocket-shaped birthday cake and sing Happy Birthday. Did he actually? Birthday. Yeah. Did he, does he also uh, have a Lightning McQueen bed at home? <laughs> <laughs> Did he rock up with just the biggest blunt in his hand? <laughs> what? <laughs> Joey, what the fuck? Well, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah no, probably. But, no, he did. But I, <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> no defamation here. Oh, no. oh, 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 no, it's breaking. Oh. Grab it by the hand. This is, this is so tense. So I, I, I did see, Chris, that there was a Japan Times article that heavily featured you, which was discussing the reaction videos about Japan. Yeah. Was there a Japan Times article? Yeah, there was, was a Japan yeah. Times article. That was the first time I really heard about it. For some reason, since September, there's been about 25 reaction videos for Born in Japan from <laughs> Primarily Japanese uh, YouTubers, and I, I, I didn't know that. Mm. I thought there was like two or three. Then mm. I read the article mm. on Japan Times. It's weird they felt that was a topic. Right, right. right. I'm, I'm great they did. Thank you, Japan Times. But <laughs> it, they, they, they were like, it's becoming really popular. I think people are getting really interested in hearing what Japanese people think of foreigners living in Japan and kind of reacting to it. But then, but then when you ask them, they're just like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> so yeah, they're right. just like, they're there. I, I think people want it to be a lot more interesting than it actually is. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I've watched a few and they're not- I, That's the thing, I'd be more good. inclined to hear what a Japanese person would think if they were actually giving, mm. you know, an opinion. But yeah. They're not, they're usually just like, mm, I mm. mean, as someone who doesn't really understand why reaction videos are good, I found it quite difficult to grasp. Um, and I've watched a few mm. and, you know, because they're, they're Japanese, they're very nice and kind and polite. Right. If they're British, they'd be like, this guy's a prick. Yeah. What's he talking about? Like, but that, but I would argue that's more of an interesting content, right? Like, at least you get to hear someone's opinion, whether yeah. it be mm. positive or negative, rather than just, you know, a like on the fence type of like, Perhaps. oh yes, yes, this is a video indeed. Yeah, like, it's just If someone watches your video and they're silent and they get a million views, there's something about that that's like, <sighs> okay. But the, like one guy did do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, just, he's just going. Uh, mm. <laughs> it's just me saying something like, "Don't do this." It's literally man. just a million people and who came goes, for uh, anime reaction noises. So, right? so, like, how many videos does your original video? I mean, how many? <laughs> <laughs> how much sake have you had? <laughs> let me let me rephrase that. How many views does your original video have? <laughs> so I I don't actually know. It's like ten million views. It's on ridiculous. The, wait, which, that it's is. the twelve things. You, twelve things I was doing in Japan. And it's right. got like ten million views. Disgusting. And that is the one they have been reacting to most, I think. Right. Yeah, because I find that like I, I have a, like a few select videos that people react to as mm. well, and for some reason, like all of them just blow up. In, like mm. compared to like any of my other videos, mm. they all like do amazingly well. So I feel like you know it's it's weird seeing someone react to your videos, um, especially it is especially if it's just like mm, mm. okay, and it's I I, I don't know how. So I, I assume you've watched people react to your videos. I've watched like two or three, and they're, they're all right. They're nice. They're great. Respectful. Mm. One, the one that I did have, the one I think the most successful one that's got millions of views. It's weird. Someone's got millions of re like views, uh, millions of views, reacting to my video. Yeah. It's that's kind of surreal. How, but how, yeah. how do you feel about them possibly making you know a few thousand dollars off of that? I don't really mind. To be no, honest, no, no, no. I'm not that uh, bothered. I'm curious because I mean, every every creator tends to have a different kind of. How would you yeah. feel about it? And you've probably had that. I've I've had that. Uh, I can't remember if I have. I don't think oh. I have, but I think it would probably, I'm just clearly not interesting enough, Chris, compared no, to no. yours truly. <laughs> well, broccoli. I mean, it's, I guess, again, I wouldn't do anything, but I might just like mutter. I might be like, oh. <laughs> I think if they're funny, I'll be like cracking. That's fantastic. Mm. But if they're just kind of like, like you said, just kind of, mm. 
Mm, I feel like a bit agitated. One of them, the, the main one, the guy who's got the most views, so yeah. a nice bloke, he uh, disagrees with my number one point on my what How I'm doing Japan list, right? dare he? Number one point is okay. don't walk down the street in Japan and eat and drink while you're walking. It's mm-hmm. not like a law, right? Yeah. You're not going to get arrested for doing that. Yeah. yeah. But people will be like... It's just like social etiquette. People will look at you and be like, what the fuck are they doing? Yeah. Like, yeah. Because in Japan, there's not that many, like... You never see anyone, like... You know, or trash... No. Cans, or <laughs> cans in the street, right? You, and so you don't, you don't, you can't throw your stuff it's away. True. But like, you know, like, there's a reason why the streets of Japan are so clean. They're right? very yeah. clean, yeah. and yeah. people don't tend to eat and walk. But mm. this guy was like, "Oh no, we do do that in Japan. In Osaka, you can do it." And it's like Osaka is different. And in downtown Osaka, you can do it because lots of stands for like takoyaki, yeah, you know, yeah, fried yeah. octopus balls, and there's kind of that it's like street food culture. Right? It is, yeah. but that's only really in Osaka. Mm. And there's not many other places. Yeah. That, I, that you can do that. Mm. Maybe Asakusa in Tokyo. Yeah. But in North Japan, if you do that, people will be like, Yeah, I, I do. Bloody foreigner walking I, I, down the street <laughs> in his McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will admit, I do do it when I'm in a bit of a rush. You're but breaking it's like, the rule. Sometimes, yeah, Chris, I'm Disgusting. breaking the law. What am I going to do? Disrespecting the culture, <laughs> as always. The culture Listen, of Japan. sometimes I got, I got to be somewhere yeah. and I, I, I need fucking food and I, I haven't got time to sit here and give a shit about like standing in the family mart depressed and eating it. I'm a fucking walk and just shove it down my throat. <laughs> What, why are you laughing, Chris? It's, it is how it is. What you just described is something I do like every week. <laughs> <laughs> because you, you, uh, you see them there in the re- in the family mart, looking out the window like caged animals, like that, just wishing, wishing, yeah. wishing they could walk free <laughs> and eat their chicken. <laughs> but, uh, but sadly, they can't. But like, yeah, I think that was the only point you disagreed with, and it made the video feel a bit redundant. As a yeah, yeah, I feel like if they it's almost, almost they... like, oh, he's a foreigner in Japan. He, right, you know, right. his opinions. Yeah. Yeah, he just, doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, right. Maybe yeah. he's not good because he's not Japanese, you know. Right. If you just I'm say, I'm sure that's not what they they yeah, going yeah, for. I don't yeah. want to start any any problems <laughs> online. But, do you, but yeah. I'm thinking of doing like a react video to the react videos in a reaction video. Please do. Yeah. To Please. That would be amazing. Do Those it. are always the funniest. I've got yeah. a headache just saying <laughs> it out loud. Yeah. But it would be like inception of reaction. And I've got like 25 videos that I can go through. You have to do it now because you've said it. Yeah. Yeah. And it. that will get a million views as yeah, well. That, that will get a lot. Of, yeah. yeah, that will get a lot of views. What would I call the video? Chris Does Broad reacts to people reacting to, to Chris Japanese Broad. Japanese people reacting to Chris yeah. Broad. That's that's the most confusing thing. No, but that, <laughs> that's amazing because you see that in your sub box and you're like, well, I have to watch this. This yeah, is a fucking boy. mess. I think I think Felix did. I think Felix did that a while yeah. back where he did a uh, PewDiePie reacts to. Uh, it was like a fi- one of the Fine Bros episodes yeah. of them reacting to PewDiePie. Okay. Yeah, and then sometimes Fine Bros has even gone far yeah. enough as to show that and do like four. Levels yeah, of like four levels of reactions. Yeah. Oh my it's God. like a reply chain. Yeah. For me, it's just like the lowest form of content, isn't it? In some respects. <laughs> go for it, some, go for it. <laughs> Every reaction channel's just- well, Okay, not, okay. No, what's, what's, what's the bottom channel. of the barrel? Go on, describe to me the bottom well, of the I'm barrel content. I'm not the barrel. <laughs> yeah. Why not, Chris? Well, against reaction videos, I watch a lot of reactions to like video games and things, but yeah. 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 I don't know. When I Do you mean at, Let's Plays? I you say, sound like a dad. I do, yeah. okay, some reactions to stuff's good, but I feel like it's very much like, as, as someone who spends way too much time trying to make their bloody videos, mm. as, as you yeah. know, as well, yeah. we don't like, to see someone just watch my video and be like, oh shit, it's good. Uh, yeah, yeah. And views. they get a million views, it's like, oh fuck's sake, why would I bother? Like, why <laughs> no, not yeah, I do no. that? Maybe yeah. I should be a yeah. react YouTuber. And I'll and then you try it and you're just like, I drink can't. Drink sake, I'll be really bitter and angry and I'll swear <laughs> loads, it'd be brilliant. I mean, that'd be hilarious <laughs> to watch personally. <laughs> let's do it live, let's do it now. Let's yeah. do it now. <laughs> Trash let's taste reacts. Let's <laughs> Connor, let's go. dog VA. <laughs> why, why me? <laughs> pole dancing away. <laughs> Did you like my pole dancing? Did great. you like my pole dancing, great. Chris? It's uh, you three, such an interesting trio of characters. You've got Gant, he does these slickly produced videos. <laughs> and then you've got Joey's at the forefront of Otaku culture and anime, <laughs> just Connie's like pole dancing Hold and up. running host club. <laughs> I love, I love and how you slipped into your abroad in Japan voice there. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, you can tell, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a difference. There's Look a at clean these difference. three YouTubers. You only take one glass of stuff. <laughs> my, 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 I guess my channel is the throw shit at the wall and, and just make and make it all stick. If not, just glue make it, it all stick. Glue it back on if it glue falls it off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> three very diverse kind of characters. Three diverse topics. Oh, I mean, yeah. I feel like this year trash taste is pretty much been the only big thing that's happened to I mean, me last year, year. Oh, fuck yeah. It's last it's last year. 2021. We're I'm not sorry. filming this in 2020, no. I swear. Sorry, this is being, being produced live apparently. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> only hours after recording, it this is up ma- on the this channel. This man has four sips of sake and forgets the <laughs> English I language. Power salad, okay. Well, I had a fucking yeah. power salad. It's vodka in it, vodka. Drink that. I will, I will drink Get it all, it. Chris. Go on. <laughs> We've all drunk with sake. 
you can't. Like, what it. what is a New Year's episode without the host getting like belligerently drunk? You know what I <laughs> what mean? What a great introduction to twenty twenty one. It's just four pieces. Four I'm years. not seeing yeah. enough movement. Into yeah. drinking stuff. Let's turn it from a discussion to a fucking just bar conversation of us <laughs> just fucking shouting at each other. I'm not gonna lie, half the time I've forgotten. No we like what? Oh, do we even have a topic at this point? We're just <laughs> chatting shit. We're just literally chatting shit. <laughs> it's the shittiest episode. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Why have I come do, back? Do you have a topic? <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. All right. Why don't you like anime, Chris? What's up with that? I've got nothing. I like anime is great. Why do you hate I, people the, who like anime? The thing with anime is I watch it and I go, that's good. <laughs> that's but then, good. The same, no, the same way a dad sees his son's hobby and is like, that's fine. Do it, go ahead. I watch it and I think, oh, anime is good, isn't it? But I don't know where to go from there. I don't know what's the next level. So I you're don't... saying if we give you a detailed guide on how to watch anime, you will then go ahead. Well, isn't that what we were supposed to do in the first place? No, yeah, we, we were no, supposed no, to no, do no, that. We aren't we? I mean, I that was a bunch of bullshit. What do yeah. you get from anime that you don't get from live action? Kind of films. Sakuga. <laughs> Ever heard of that word? <laughs> no. Now why were you saying that shit to him? What? Because that's, that's the first thing I thought of. course he's not going to know what that word the is. the first thing I thought of. <laughs> because. That's, that's like trying to explain what a VTuber is to your parents. You know oh, yeah, I mean? that's true. That's true. Because, uh, right, you know, Japan has a few TV options, right? For example, they have, you know, this amazing anime with incredible animation voice acting, really crazy plots. Or. Or, Chris, you can watch oh 24, the Japan remake. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that's a thing? Oh, I heard about it. Uh, it's, it's brand new. They're re it's airing yeah. now. And anime. it's no, no, no. actual, no, live, actual action. live action. Oh, right. They're completely remaking, but I think in their own plot, 24, but just Japan. It, you know what it's called? It's called 24 Japan. That doesn't really work, though, does it? No, oh, and, it's, and it's pretty bad. Have you, you watched it? Yeah, I watched an episode and it was as <laughs> shit as you thought. Is it, it like really low budget? Uh, it's, they it's, have like it's a Japanese Jack Bauer. Yeah. yeah. Do it, they actually? Yeah, no, uh, the, entire uh, cast, the entire cast is Japanese. I just think a Jack Bauer personality esque doesn't really work with. No, not, not in just, Japanese just culture. Just find Japanese TVs very low budget. Like Trash Taste probably has a bigger budget than most <laughs> Japanese TV. <laughs> TV show. I don't know about that. We haven't got a guy reacting. Can we have Chris's face yeah. when yeah, we're on their camera? That's cam. why you hate react channels. It's because that's most of like Japanese TV. You need, you well, need yeah. a react cam in the corner, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Or just someone going. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was watching, I was watching, um, who's that really famous uh, comedy and also director guy in Japan? He's on, always on that billboard in Shibuya. Oh, um, oh Kitano Takeshi. Yeah. I saw him and he was on Japanese TV and he was reacting to this thing and it was like LGBT stuff. Mm, and right. he had never oh, seen oh. such minimal reaction in my life. He was like a bulldog, just like. Well, and, yeah. then, <laughs> and then it cut to a guy in an onsen giggling and he was like. Ah! <laughs> and I was like, well, I think I know what he likes. I, guess, <laughs> I, you know. I, mean, <laughs> was, I, don't, I, I don't care for this nonsense, get that off, you know. It was just, it was just funny. I it mean, was, but, it but was but just like, like, why, why there was like eight hosts and yeah. they refused to take the camera off him. It was just, well, let's yeah, keep him. I think Kitano Takisu though is at the point where like, he, he has just a doesn't status give a where fuck. it's just like, as long as he's on the show, people will It doesn't watch, matter, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's just matter. name branded. This yeah, point, it's right? name branded. So do you want to explain to the audience who he okay, might so be? Okay, so Kitano Takisu or Beat Takeshi as he's called? Takeshi's Castle. Yeah, is he's founded Takeshi's Castle and that's where name comes from. But originally he was a Japanese comedian and he's basically the reason why the whole, Jesus Christ, you all right? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to talk about Beat Takeshi. <laughs> you fuck. fuck. That is, drink this up. Sorry. Anyway, Sorry, go ahead. I mean, anyway, so yeah, so Kitano Takeshi, he was like, he basically founded the whole Japanese comedy scene back in the seventies. And he's the big reason why- Wait, like, there was no comedy before him? <laughs> not in Tokyo. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, com no jokes allowed. No, so in the, so- <laughs> no, the whole, wait, like, he no, invented comedy. Like, yeah. like yeah. what? <laughs> no, so, okay, so-, so so in in so the whole idea of like manzai stand-up comedy which is a very like japanese form oh, of stand-up right. comedy where it's like you know one <laughs> mic in the middle <laughs> <What are you? laughs> this kid's fucking giggling at everything it's like well, it's like <laughs> see, it's just shut up for a second just like so, so basically like the whole it's, it's called manzai which is like there's usually one mic in the middle and two people standing in front of mm. the one mic you know doing right. a whole comedy routine. And that was really big in Osaka or like in Kansai region. Is and that just stand-up comedy. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it's a little bit different to just stand-up comedy because a lot of stand-up comedy, at least in the West is usually like one person. 
Yeah. Right. right. Like it's just one person kind of telling an anecdote mm. and then throwing a joke within the anecdote. <clears throat> okay, right. So. Like that's you know very oh. general stand up comedy. But Manzai is kind of like that, but if you split the anecdote and the jokes into two different people. Mm. So basically there's one guy who sets up the joke and then there's one I have guy seen this. Who, yeah, I have seen who throws this. the punchline and then the guy who sets up the joke reacts to the joke and it's that whole dynamic. Is it like two person rock ago? Uh, essentially, yeah. So like Rakugo is more similar to Western stand-up comedy mm, in that yeah. sense. Cause Rakugo is all about like telling an anecdote and then throwing in a punchline at the end. Rakugo just seems like stand-up comedy hard mode. Cause like imagine stand-up <laughs> comedy, but you have to sit in this one place and you can't move and you have limited like right. body movements. Right, exactly. But like Rakugo is like so fucking ancient in Japan. Like it's yeah. been doing it since like, I, I don't even know how long, but it's mm. very, very old form of comedy. But basically the whole Manzai type of comedy Really, originally started in like the fifties and sixties in <laughs> Why is he Osaka. Laughing? Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> you just love Rakugo that much. Huh? <laughs> but basically, that was only really a scene that existed in Osaka, and that's why yeah. like a lot of comedians they're all from Osaka. They're all from Osaka. Yeah. I do. I've noticed, and they that. all speak in Kansai dialect, right? And but uh, beat Takeshi and his group. He was in. A, he was in a, a duo called Tsubito. And he was basically the first like really big manzai act to make it big in the Tokyo scene. Mm. And it was because of his success that manzai moved to Tokyo as well and like the Tokyo area. So that's why he's kind of just known as like, like a legend. Of, yeah, he's like, basically yeah, yeah. the godfather of like Tokyo manzai. But he's also a very good director and actor. Like you yeah, see yeah, like, yeah, Hanabi, yeah. Hanabi fireworks. Yeah, 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 yeah. They put him in Ghost of the Shell movie. He, which the dude's done everything. Like yeah. he like paints, he directs, he's like, he developed is, his own game is, once. Is, like, is he, was he in the original Battle Royale as well? Yes. Oh yes. yeah, of course. He's, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was one of his biggest roles. Yeah, He's pretty good in that. Yeah. He's really good at really that. Good. He's a great actor, yeah. yeah he's a very Fuck, good meanwhile, I'm just fucking eating chicken and broccoli yeah. every night, not achieving anything. <laughs> Fuck. Where's your man? <laughs> yeah, where's my yeah. man? Like, I didn't realize he was a comedian. That's- uh, Yeah, he's that's originally a comedian. Because yeah, I only yeah. know him as like an actor director. It's quite weird because he's this comedian, but he's also this incredibly stoic, very Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every yeah. film he's like, very- like not, I can't, no expression. I can't imagine him being a comedian because yeah. er, in every film he's played, he's like super serious, super Right, hard. right, right. Like, uh, yeah, you watch you watch some like old like 70s footage of him while he was still in Tsubito and he's just the most, he was actually the guy who was like responsible for like telling the butt of the joke. So he was always the like kind the of the clown man. on the show, yeah. right? So it's really weird now watching like Ghost in the Shell, watching this like hard face serious, yeah. like, yes, I am the badass in this movie. <laughs> just fucking going around and be like, yeah, I'm the clown. It's just, I don't know. I find it really cool. That did, you like, did you like the movie? Mm, likes a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I thought it was fucking fine. shit. Okay, wait, wait what, I, what movie were you talking Ghost about? Ghost in the Ghost Shell. Is live action. Okay. I was- liked it. As shit. I liked it if it wasn't a Ghost in the Shell movie. Right. Why is it shit, Chris? It's so boring. As a Ghost in the Shell movie. The, the, the original anime film. Right, that's, yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. As a Ghost in the Shell movie, it was really bad. But as a, just a standalone like sci-fi movie, it was okay. Mm. I thought it was, I, I I literally walked out of the theater. Really? Yeah, because- just, Did you? Yeah. I, That's very un-British of you. <laughs> what, just because you like bored? I was just so bored. I like, was really bored. It was, it wasn't- I haven't watched it by the it way. It wasn't good. It oh, obviously wasn't good, but it wasn't offensively bad either. So what's it the was, what's the like premise of the film, by the way? For like, I have no fucking clue. Okay. I, I know Ghost in the Shell, but I haven't it's seen it. It's basically the first movie, but with a bit of a twist. Okay, what, oh, okay. what do you know about Ghost in the Shell? I've watched all of Standalone Complex. Okay, so you, you basically know the best parts of Ghost yeah. in the Shell. Okay. Don't worry about the movie. It's just a rehash. Take standalone complex, smash it into two hours and take away all the interesting things. All okay, the, the and you walked out? Huh? And you walked out of that? Yeah. What, well, how far in were you, you walked out? Oh, I was like- Did you get to like the, the first fight scene? Like with the invisible guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay. I got like 45 minutes in oh, before sure. I realized, I'm like, I'm about to fall asleep now. Yeah. And I can be I, Yeah, that's, that was probably, the first 45 minutes was probably the best part of the movie. Like See, visually speaking. It's uncomfortable though. Huh? The seats are comfortable though. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a the second half, the way that the movie just ended where they were just kind of I throwing in the whole like cultural thing was just bullshit. I feel Scarlett Johansson was very well cast. No, no I, I don't- Great actress, but like not, not for that role. No. Yeah, not, she, I, like, I really respect Scarlett Johansson as yeah. an actress, but she just really, she, it felt like she, didn't care she, at all. There was like yeah. no movie. acting, like yeah. no one really gave a shit. It's like, I get you're, you're supposed to be a cyborg, but you know, put, yeah. put, put a little like, more she, effort she did, in, she, you know? She, she did that a bit too well. Yeah. <laughs> like, so it's like the director went, uh, so you're a robot right now. And she's like, say no more. I got it. <laughs> Computing. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I don't remember really, much really. about that movie, which is- I tells you. I've only walked out of one movie. 
uh, yeah. in the cinemas, and that was uh, Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> See, you I, watched I, that I in cinemas? I would not walk out of that movie. I would be like, <laughs> I would be having a great time watching Dragon Ball Evolution. I thought so too, because I watched the trailer and I was like, God, this looks like shit. I'm going to go watch it. <laughs> how, and how? then it was so much more boring than I thought. It wasn't even like, it wasn't like the so bad that it was good level. It was just really, really? bad. I thought it was Wait, fucking hilarious. Yeah. Oh, no, I couldn't. I think it's hilarious. Wait, Chris, have you walked out of a movie theater? I've never walked out of a movie theater. I mean, this is the only one. There was one yeah. where I just stopped caring really bad. Like very close. There was that's one life in general. Downsizing with the. Uh, oh my Damon. god, Matt Damon! That's a terrible yeah. film. Wait, that no, I, that I, is I an airplane. Work, movie. I couldn't work out what was going on. If it was a comedy, if it was a drama, it was just it's all over the place. I never. Okay, but like, how many times have you been to the cinema by yourself? Uh, a lot. I used to go all go the lot? time. Yeah, I used to go like once a week in London. Because like, if you're seeing a film with mates, like you can't. Yeah, you, you can't. you're oh, there. Yeah. For better or worse, even if your mates mm. drag you to this shitty fucking Adam Sandler comedy, like I, whatever. Yeah, I mean, okay, one, I would watch this shitty Adam Sandler movie, but uh, I mean, if I've planned to do it, it's normally in the evening and I want to admit that my evening was <laughs> was tarnished by this film because I'm still going to enjoy the popcorn no matter what, right? right? Like, and maybe I get a little nap in as well. I text my sh- few my mates, tell them about it. <laughs> some shit in it. Yeah. Text Chris being like, Chris, when we collab this film sucks, dude. I don't know, like I- <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I rarely go to cinemas anyway, so. Why? Wow, I love cinemas. Oh, I love them, yeah. yeah. It's just really? something nice and relaxing and when you- Especially in Japan, like yeah. in the UK, people just throw popcorn and it's a fucking mess. I mean, that's that's so horrible. Popcorn's there's so rarely, good in Japan as well. Like, there's rarely films that I think, yeah, I need to go see this now. No, I cinemas. don't think that with any of the films I watch. I just think like, I want to go to the cinema because I want the popcorn. You just, you just want the experience. You just want and the popcorn. I, and I like the experience. I like sitting did down, watch, relaxing. Uh, Tenet? I did. Like, I, I, I really yeah, want to like that. I, I haven't yeah. seen it. No. It is right. Nothing. Well, I mean, it's really special. Considering there's nothing out right now, I thought it was nice to what watch about something. What the Demon Slayer movie? <laughs> I'm not watching the Demon Slayer movie. See, I if, don't understand if, it. if I understood Japanese, then I would go to the cinema so much more often. Right. Because I love watching anime movies because I'm actually in. They have in tons the of foreign films there. Oh. So this is going to be the worst transition in the world because we were just <laughs> talking about films, but off camera, Quish is- Hold up, hold up, wait, wait. First of all, wait, before we transition to that, we should, okay. do, we should finish talking about Tenet or some shit. Tenet, it's all right, seven out of 10. All right. Right. No, no, done. Shit. Five okay, done. No, no, so no, Chris no. just told us how he ate a bear <laughs> last week. I wasn't like walking through the forest. I went, oh, it's a bear. I'll get my knife and fork out and eat it. <laughs> like, in in Aomori, North Japan, they hmm. eat bears. Because there's too many. Do they actually? Yeah, there's too many bears. I've, I've eaten bear before. How was it? What does it taste like? Not good. A part of me feels sad, but then why Why would I feel sad about a bear it's, and not other animals? I don't know I don't control? know about you, but like, you, did you have it as like a proper dish? I cook, Yeah, I like, cooked it on a grill. Oh, because I had it in it was, a can. Sounds that sounds what? unbearable. Yeah. Unbearable. Can, can I bear. head, so wait, I wait, how is it is it just very gamey? It's very it's very fatty. It's firm. It's yeah. firm. It's like beef that's oh, why'd you make the word firm sound so disgusting? It's Chris. like <laughs> no it's like it, beef that's very hard. It's like chewing on leather, essentially. Yeah. Like right. it it can. Right. where where right. did you get this from? You can get it in the supermarket. What? Yeah. I mean it, you you underestimate like how many different types actually, of food you can get. It was in cans it was here. also like I was in Hakodate, they were just selling whale. Yeah. Oh in God. like can oh and God. that's very controversial, oh God, obviously. Yeah, cool. You can you can get like dolphin yeah. in a can the as thing well. Is, it's like, sad though, isn't it? I mean, because it's on one half it's like you don't want to be like, hey Japan, stop doing that. Right. Because it's you know, it's your culture. Yeah. Yeah. But on the other half, please stop killing whales. Yeah. yeah. Well on the and subject dolphins. on the subject of bears, there's a lot of bloody bears that run wild and go into towns, especially at the moment, because a lot of the rural population is going down and towns are actually becoming quite empty, especially right, in places right, like right. Tohoku. And bears are like, oh, there's nobody there. I'm going to get in. I'm going to get a piece of the action. I, I think I saw a piece then of Then the you- hunters come and shoot them. They're like, well, we could just leave it for dead or we could eat it. Yeah, and yeah. then they sell it. I think I saw and- a piece of news the other day where it was like, I think this year there was like the most amount of bear yep. attacks yep, in like correct. the last like 10, 15 years or something. But in right. Hokkaido, they have brown bears. On the mainland, we've just only got black bears, which are kind of small. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, not, they only eat like, for <laughs> people, <laughs> what? What you, so, the only vegetables, carnivorous like, bastards vegetables they are. Those like bears, uh, but, like, <laughs> <laughs> but the brown bears in Hokkaido, they were just f- fucking eat my, humans. Yeah. When, like, when I was driving, ago, I saw a bunch was, of signs. You didn't see any bears. No, I didn't see any, Thank but there were signs God. everywhere yeah. saying like, bears. Years ago, there were like twenty people camping on Hokkaido, and a bear just turned up and ate everyone. And everyone, like, everyone, they all died. The bear had a fucking up. feast. Lucky bear. How does a bear kill? How do you defend yourself from a bear attack in Japan? Because at least in like America, you, people can carry guns. Bear spray. 
<laughs> that's, oh, no, that's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. Okay, okay. Does that thing. work? Does it work? Does anyone it's know? It's like pepper spray for bears. But I think by the time the bear gets so that close, you're already kind of fucked. Yeah. Okay. The bear's yeah. going to be like, oh, I've got my well, spray. It, it, if a bear, if like, a bear hits off. you, you're dead. Yeah. Like, not necessarily. Not, a rat, not, a, uh, not if Chris is person. there. Chris brought it. <laughs> I, read it I, did, I read an article that uh, there was uh, a bear turned up on a... Uh, a <laughs> I, oh, an orchard in Almore with lots of apples and they were like just doing the orchard you know like you do like a farmer and the bear just turned up and was like Rah! and this old man just went and just punched it in the face the bear was like shit and just ran away that that? <laughs> that, oh. so you can't you know, if you've got to defend yourself against the bear just punch it in where the is face. Chris Broad punching a bear video I that want is, that's, I, I want to raise the level this year I did say <laughs> <laughs> but I like that would be a life changing experience I defended experience. myself from a bear I like bears is it, is and it? Uh, you know they're nice. We, well, I mean, because obviously, perfect. you know, too, I think it's hard because I think a lot of audiences would see that and would be a bit put off. And it's kind mm. of hard to, I guess, there are a lot of things like that where it's like, you do want to kind of be like, well, this is what they do. And this mm, is how yeah. they've always done it. Mm, and yeah. I guess is it, it's almost like, who are you to say they can't do it? But at times, again, it's like the whale stuff, right? It's like, mm. yeah. it's pretty iffy. It's a very difficult subject. Be, yeah. Yeah. I, I had whale once to know to never have whale again. Like it doesn't even, it doesn't even taste good. No. It's I, cruel, isn't I, it? I, I, yeah, see and, the and I felt them. so fucking, I was like, well, you know. I was served it and ate it. I was like, what was that? And they were like, yeah. oh, it's whale. I was like, oh, ugh, that's so you're very sad like now. <laughs> like it's, yeah, I ate it bad. knowing what it was, and I was just like, I don't even like the well, because uh, so I like, can't even get behind it anyway. What is it like? Most countries have agreed to stop it, and Japan just like mm, Japan's no, just like, but it's a traditional about, food. No. It's not that popular in Japan. The reason it still does well is the uh, the politicians in power. Their areas fish right. for whale. So yeah. They kind of to get voted. It's all rather political. It's not because right. people actually they normally have enjoy this, the right. taste of whale. It's for yeah. political. A lot of the older generation do like yeah. still because a lot of them like grew up eating it. Right, I think after right, World right. War Two, mm. there was a lot of whales. Is it the same thing with dolphins? I would assume That's, so. Uh, do they eat dolphins in Japan? No, only yeah, in they one, do. Only in Wakayama, I think, in that little right. neighborhood. Tai, so tai sad. Tai They're such yeah. happy creatures, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> oh. Japan eats a lot of weird food. Yeah, yeah. Like, it does yeah. feel like they just, you know, they just go through like the the fucking Little Mermaid and just like I'll have that. But I think <laughs> most people, I don't, I don't think I've met anyone who's. Uh, Eaten dolphin before in Japan. I've never eaten dolphin, but it's I've pretty seen rare. it being sold. Which is why when that documentary came out, um, mm. what was it called? Uh, the, the Cove. Cove. The Cove. The Cove. Cove. Yeah. You know, yeah. Japan got loads of hate. Yeah. yeah. Most Japanese people are like, oh, we don't even know what, we don't eat dolphin, what? And I they mean, were surprised as well. Yeah. And it all, you know, got you really never bad. see it in Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. Right? That, that little I've fishing yeah. community in Wakayama. I've seen it being sold before, but I've never, I've never known anyone who's actually eaten mm. it, let yeah. alone enjoyed yeah. it. It's nice. very, very easy to lump a, you know, a country together, really, unfortunately. I mean, Japan is quite huge, and, and all the all the different prefectures do feel really different to each other. Yeah, absolutely. They have like their own offer. like special. Thing. Right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right. Like you, you go to every different prefecture, and you're like, "What's the specialty here?" Mm. And I, I like living in Japan. I kind of like understand gift culture a bit more here because like everywhere you travel to, there's something unique. Well, yeah, about, yeah. famous for its wine. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. There's something unique about every place you go to. Mm. And I don't know if they've just like five headed, like the tourist kind of gift. I'm gift pretty giving. sure they have. Yeah, yeah. but it, you know, it, it feels good to like yeah. come back from a place and actually have a souvenir that's like, unique to that place. You can only get it in that you know, prefecture, because, right? You know, yeah. you, we've, 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 we've all been to like this kind of country or this place where you like, you, you feel like you have to get a souvenir mm. just mm. to get a souvenir. Souvenir. And you get like the most tacky little fucking keychain or something like that. Right? <laughs> Would you like a fridge magnet? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I do feel like in the UK, I don't know, did you ever do souvenirs? I never fucking no. brought souvenirs back. But I feel obliged to here. Rock yeah. candy. Yeah, rock, rock candy. Oh rock candy. God. Rock candy? North, in North, in yeah. North UK. In yeah, Wales, like Wales is a lot of rock candy. Is edible. No, oh it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. So same thing in Brighton. We have a oh, Brighton, Brighton, Brighton. Rock. It's near beaches. They have yeah, yeah, yeah. like and like the chocolates that look like. If rock. you want to no, 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 no. fuck it's up like, your teeth, it is amazing. It's like just right. this sugar, like it, it, it has the like I guess the structure of rock, <laughs> but it's just sugar, and you <laughs> just fucking it just it just sounds like a lump of sugar that's that it is and that's literally why British people don't have teeth. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, that's why like I. Compared to other places, tourism in the UK, like mm. within the UK, so shit. it's just like, it's non-existent. The it's it's is, fucking Butlins, because that's you, all it you, is. Like you go to one sea and it's like, okay, here's, here's a sea. And then you go to another sea, it's exactly the fucking <laughs> I want same. to visit every Wetherspoons in the UK. Like it what would. are you gonna do in the sea? Oh, let's go to the pub. What are you gonna do in Newcastle? Oh, let's go to the pub. What are you gonna do in Liverpool? Oh, let's go to the pub. You know, it's, it's, it's. <laughs> to be fair, that's me in Japan. I mean, I, I, 
But I mean, Japan has a really strong thing. tourism industry because people don't want to travel overseas a lot of the time. Yeah. And there's a lot, quite a lot of population in Japan don't have, actually have passports. Yeah. And they don't have much time for holiday. Holiday leaves really bad here. It's all so the work culture. People shit, don't right? have much choice. They do want to, they just stay here and they mm. travel the country. So domestic yeah. tourism in Japan is really big business. Mm. And I, each place is their own unique thing. So you can sort of I, cross the border and be like, well, it's yeah. really different in the next kind of prefecture. Mm. Yeah. I did notice when I stayed in the Ryokan that I parked. Uh, and there was tons of cars. Um, I was, I stayed two nights. Right. But when I went there, every single car in this car park had left. So clearly everyone was only staying one night, which was odd. Most people only stay one night. They, I've noticed that time. they stay one night and then they're like, yeah. done. But I was like, no, I want multiple days of this. Are you kidding me? Well, it's probably because like a lot of them, you know, with the whole work work culture thing, they just- Right, can't you can't have take more yeah, than yeah, one yeah. day like, off. Having right? more than two days off is like a, a luxury, right? I think yeah. I read a statistic that most people in Japan only take half their holiday leave. Out of 20 days, they only take 10. It's crazy. Yeah. Why is that, do you reckon? Same pressure, because your boss, your boss will be like, you've abandoned the team, how dare you, you know. <laughs> it's pretty, What then? The, the, when just... I was a teacher, like, it was it was pretty, it could be quite stressful taking holiday leave. Right, right. Even more ridiculous, one time I took like three days off and they were like, okay, and I, I have to get it signed by a supervisor and then the headmaster and the headmaster's mum, <laughs> they all have to sign it. And then I decided, actually, I don't need that holiday, I'll just stay. Hmm. And they got really angry, they're like, what? You want to stay now? <laughs> Don't do this again. You're not allowed to do that. And like they really angry. I, really? I didn't really know why. How yeah. dare you come How back and want to work? Like work. Like it was really. How dare surreal. you like your job? And it's like I don't know why. Maybe it's because they had to get teachers to look at like do my job for me, and they had to do sort of things. But I don't know. But like taking holiday in Japan is not fun, and you're lucky. You work for Trash Taste as a result. Mm. You're your own. We don't, work, we don't work for Trash Taste. We are Trash we Taste. Are trash taste. <laughs> we are Trash Taste. <laughs> we are the system. <laughs> Make a t-shirt. We are Trash Taste. We are Trash Taste. I'm wearing the Trash Taste t-shirt. Yeah, do it. Because <laughs> remember working in the UK, I mean, you, you feel pressured to take all your holiday. They like, kind of like, if you have any holiday late days left over, mm. that, then that's like, well, you, you can take that. That's just free time off. Why are you not taking it? Mm. But in here, it's like the complete opposite. And I'm not sure if it's the same in other Asian countries. I feel like it would be less of a pressure than it is in Japan because work culture in Japan is- It's just seen as le letting down your team. And if you do take holiday leave, you're less likely to you know get that promotion. Yeah. You know, if, if you yeah. two work for my company and you decide to take all your holiday leave, like you can legally be entitled to, yeah. mm. but you don't, I'll be like, oh, Gun, gun, a bit gun. More loyal. Let's promote Gun because Connor fucked off to Hokkaido and ate some crabs. Didn't, you know. didn't somebody like a famous, uh, I mean, maybe a politician got like it was like newsworthy that he took maternity leave. A man, yeah, like yeah. it was new. Uh, it was newsworthy that the man took a week off. Yeah, yeah, he took his his paternity leave. Really? Yeah. The man <laughs> took his he? his entitled one week off, mm -hmm. and it was it was literally country news. And he was allowed to, but again, totally allowed most to. Most people don't in Japan, yeah. especially for maternity. I think they think that that's the mother's job, right? Yeah. That, that's the thing. I feel Japan in a lot of senses, like the societal law, like almost exceeds the actual law. You know, well, what I mean? it's, like, it's like five steps forward in technology and then their culture is like, hold up. It's like 50 steps yeah, back, right? Like, hold up, here's a fax machine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, I, that's why I always say to people coming to Japan to work, be careful where you work. Um, foreign companies operating in Japan don't usually have those sort of yeah. unpleasant yeah. rules and parameters. So that's always a bonus, but like be careful where you work. Cause I know a lot of people that working jobs, they don't get any free time. They're expected to go out and drink a lot after work. There's no border between free time and work God, time. It's hard drinking all the time, isn't it, Chris? It was <laughs> <laughs> $12. I bet Chris is just like, oh, another, another night out, really? Oh, I guess so. Yeah, because in, in Japan, do you have to like drink to show respect? Right? No, it's kind of, it's uh, after camaraderie, drinks, right? your boss will like open up and talk to you about right, things yeah. that they wouldn't normally do when they're sober in the office. Mm. Right. I'd, uh, even as a, you know, working in a school, my teachers that I worked with would open up massively after one drink. They wouldn't even be drunk. It was almost like having alcohol would initiate being able to be open. It's like being in that environment. Right? Yeah, it yeah. like opens them up. And I, I had teaching colleagues who would just be like, I hate that colleague. I hate X, Y, Z. Wow, so really? I fucking hate them. And I'd be like, oh, okay. I was like, all right, maybe After we should- like two, maybe, two beers. Maybe we shouldn't have had a drink. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, the floodgates open. It's right. quite a fascinating thing to experience. Yeah. I love how two hours in, we're finally starting to sound like an actual podcast. <laughs> like, I, I, before I, I still keep like blabbering in. I still keep laughing intermittently because seeing Connor die every time he takes a sip of sake <laughs> on, is just fucking hilarious together. to me. Let's do it together. Do what Come together? on, drink the whole thing. I've got a lot more. Oh, this is my second Chris, glass, Connor. fuck off, look at that. This That's, is my second Are you glass. trying to get me drunk, It's Chris. because you've been having fucking baby bird sips of yeah. that shit. So right. fuck, all right, cheers, Chris. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you for this beautiful drink and beverage. I hope I don't throw up. It's a Sea Dog VA. I love how you're, oh, 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 he's actually downing it, okay. <laughs> you know what? 
I love the fact that this is going to be more edited than our hentai video. Yeah, right. That's so disgusting. Never never shot suck it. It's not designed for that. Sesh, 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 sesh. Come on. It's in the same glass as well. It's contaminated with the shit that you bought. Wine and suck it. Chris made me down this disgusting abomination. That is the finest sake this is, in all of Giffy I bet, I bet this is the Carlsberg of sake. <laughs> <laughs> like, I bet this is, if you don't know, Carlsberg is a fucking god-awful beer. Um, that, god-awful beer. Have you, have you noticed that in Japan, sometimes they'll have Carlsberg or Carling and they'll be like, foreign beer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I know that's that's Foreign piss- dirt water. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, 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 they'll yeah. be like, it's called Miller Lite. <laughs> it's, it's an exquisite foreign VB. beer. With, <laughs> you know, and you're like, no, no, no. I yeah. know what this is. Yeah. This is the good stuff. This is Fuck the, off, is this the good this stuff, This is the funny Chris. stuff you give me But then again, right, like, again, like, as we were saying, Connor's not a sake drinker in the same way that he's not a whiskey drinker. Right? Well, you've got wine now, so. I used right. to be. I you've used to. Gans, I, white wine from Yamanashi. You know, when I first came to Japan, I desperately wanted to be that guy who was like, I love everything Japan. I'm, I'm right, a connoisseur right, right. of Japan. I, I lo- I'm obsessed with sake. Press X to doubt. He was never fucking <laughs> like that. He, no. That, that was like, I can't no, no, believe no. you just looked at my face no, no, no. and lied no, like that. No, 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 the audacity no. Legit. <laughs> okay, when I wasn't with you, when I go to a bar and they ask, what drink do you want? I'd be like, sake, of course. Oh, yeah. where, where, the, every time he wasn't with us. Yeah. Well, of course. Because, of course. Because I knew that you would call me out on that shit if I go to a bar and I'm but like- then, But then when Connor's there, he's just like, Miller Light, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But when I'm actually like with you guys, I'm like, beer, please. But like, because I don't want to be called out. Like, cause if, if, if I'm with like everyone, right? And everyone orders beer and one person who's on their first vacation to Japan goes, of a sake, actually, I'd be like, I'll have a "Fuck sake. off! You're fuck off! You're you're just getting too into the Japan atmosphere." But it, <laughs> but it tastes like shit. <laughs> there's a okay, reason. Okay. There's a reason why a bottle of sake never costs more than twenty dollars. Okay, here's like, the thing. Here's the thing I've noticed very quickly about sake that I noticed about just regular wine is that I fucking hate sake normally, mm-hmm. but if I have it with a good meal and like a meal that fits the sake. I disagree. Then I fucking love it. We've uh, had no meal though. That's, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But so that's why it took me a little longer okay. than usual what, to what, down that side. What's what got me to like wine was having my first red wine with a nice. Okay, steak. to be I honest, agree. to be honest, wine goes fantastically with meals. I agree. It's not. It's, so does sake. It, no. Yeah. It's no. <laughs> it's not. Wine isn't too strong where like it's overpowering. Sake is like when you when you have your steak, whatever, and you have a sake. It's like great. Now I've just fucking. Who the fuck drinks sake with their steak? What do you eat it with? It's usually fish. All right, you have fish, right? Yeah. You have whatever the fuck, I don't give a shit, same thing. There's a reason why they serve a lot of sake at like sushi restaurants. <laughs> yeah, like, but when you have it, you have this fucking fish. Raging debate, God and I just like, uh, uh, you have the debate. Chris, okay. help, help me out here, no, Chris. No, 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 Chris, Chris, this is what happens when we talk about food on the podcast, okay? <laughs> it's pretty we, we always have the most heated debates about food. Like, like Listen, whenever, whenever food's brought up, we turn into a bunch of fucking apes, I swear like, to God. I, I, like when people drink like hard liquor with a meal or something, I'm like, you have, you are immediately just like absolutely bombing your mouth. Sake is not with, a hard liquor. It's a wine. It, it's, it's like 20%. Wine. It's 20%. So man. is wine. Chris, what are your opinion as the adjudicator of this argument? Help me. <laughs> Get me out of here, viewers. Dude, no. red wine is 15 to 20%. Sake is 15. 15- 20%? Name a 20% wine, Joey. You think I'm a fucking wine sommelier? <laughs> there is no wine that is 20%. That is, I've never seen that. I've, uh, I have seen that. That's probably a wine that exists. Yeah, but they're but most, it's, it's they're 12, they're 12, it's, it's come on. It's rare, but no, I like, I much prefer wine over sake. Mm. Um, the, I, I feel like 12 to 15% is the perfect zone. Anything above that starts to get like, taste like vodka, right? Mm. And sake, wait, how, how, wait, how sake, how that? 18%, but that still tastes <laughs> like a hard alcohol, right? No, it doesn't burn. Did you lie? It doesn't Chris, burn. Did you fucking lie? <laughs> wait, did that burn for you? Yes. 18%. Yeah, 18%. 18%. Like yeah. Chris said. That's right. not, vodka's 37.5. Yeah, yeah, but the thing yeah. was is, I can't distinguish the difference between that and vodka. That is why you fail. What are you on? No, no, no. I, what's wrong okay, with okay, your okay, okay, God, okay. Joey, I'm not- I, I, I'm not... I was partly on your side until you <laughs> you had the audacity to say that. For someone okay, who no. like loves food so much, you can so barely taste the difference between <laughs> vodka and wine. No, yeah. what I think is that that is strong enough where it's in the same category as a vodka taste. No, no. Vodka makes me want to die more. 100%, but sake does still have the same kind of quality of like, I drink it and I'm like, Argh! immediately. Um, <laughs> whereas a wine, I'm like, I drink it and I'm like, ooh. I can't ooh. believe what I'm hearing. Fuck off, Joey, we get it, you're Japanese, okay? Yeah, yeah. You're a fan. Go eat some fucking whale. <laughs> <laughs> All that, all that chicken and broccoli has fucked your taste. <laughs> <up, bro. laughs> 
<laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Sucky on the same level as vodka. You disgust me. Listen, they both taste like shit in my... <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna fucking down on. Vodka I love how this. this I love how we've gotten two hours into this, and we absolutely we just drank a fuck ton of sake unwillingly, and now it's a mess of a podcast. Thank you, Chris. I think if you watch this episode with a bit of bit of sake and some chicken and broccoli, yeah. it'll yeah. be the best forty oh. experience. Hell yeah! Ever. Okay, okay, wait, 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 here. now now that we're on the top of, of alcohol, alcohol, fine. Okay, your least favorite alcohol is it, all, is it all on the same level? Because anything above twenty okay. percent is the fucking same to you. Then honestly, anything ab- like in like vodka, tequila, gin. whiskey. Okay, gin I actually like. Uh, gin I actually like. Fl- <laughs> this this man contradicting himself. I want I want to be like Phoenix Wright right now, being like objection. objection. <laughs> okay. There is a contradiction in your statement, sir. Okay. I gin gin actually tastes nice. Now I'm not saying no, that no. Now I'm not saying that because I'm British and that that's that's our wait, cultural wait, wait, export. Wait wait, 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 wait. Are we talking like just gin on its own or like a gin and tonic? A gin and tonic. Okay, gin and tonic gin is and on a different level. Gin and tonic. Who who the, name one person who drinks gin gin fuck gin straight? No but, one. No one no, exactly. But like, because you don't hear like when you have vodka and coke. What do you think? I think depressing university days. Like I'm desperate to get drunk. Yeah, right, Chris. Yeah, exactly. Ever. When's the, last time, when's the last time you had a vodka and coke, Chris? I, I have vodka tonic like every week. Are you, are you okay, Chris? Are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm depressed. <laughs> I've established this by now. Okay, Very a whiskey depressed. a whiskey you have straight, right? You're never like, okay, whiskey and coke sounds like an abomination, right? I, whiskey and coke's great. Whiskey and coke's all right. But I mean, like I, I, I rarely drink whiskey. Whiskey is more of a mood setter. Whiskey is there. For like, it's- Yeah, you don't, you don't want to get drunk on whiskey. No, no, no. Whis- I like, I, if people who get drunk on whiskey are drinking whiskey way too fast. Whis- <laughs> whiskey is like kind of with. a drink that you just kind of like, it, it warms you up. But yeah. either way, I don't care for it, right? Yeah, it's like, I, it's like I, a nightcap, yeah, basically. You know. We all know the superior drink is an espresso martini, gentlemen, right? No, that's just, that's because your body is just addicted to caffeine. I am, I am. This okay, boy am, drinks like fucking- No, no, eight, no, Chris, my eight, coffee. Eight, eight, cup, eight cups of coffee every day. Get that wine down here. Go on. Let's try the wine. It's tainted with sake cup now. <laughs> you poured it in the same disgusting drink cup. for the people. You'd be a terrible sommelier. Down in one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Said, I mean, well, this wine's really I'll be a terrible Somalian. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible Somalian. Somalia? <laughs> Somalia? You said like, you'll be a terrible Somalian. No, I didn't. Yes, oh, did. fuck did, off, Did you mean Somalia? <laughs> Somalia, isn't it? Is it? Isn't it Somalier? I thought, I, just, I don't know, Somalia. I feel like I don't fucking know, someone- fr- Depends someone how fancy French, you want to be. Someone French can know. I would not be a terrible Somalian. I'm gonna get that out there right now. <laughs> Jordan, how is it pronounced? Somalia. Somalia. There we go. Yeah, yeah. What, right. That was closer was to right. my yeah, pronunciation. Somalia. That's closer to my pronunciation. You did an no, English- you said but- Somalian. <laughs> Somalia. Somalians watching this are frothing right now. Oh my God, come on. It's like they noticed us. <laughs> we have a resident French man who sounded closer to my pronunciation than yours. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What do you want? Okay. I will fight this battle to the death. I'm have known for being stubborn and I won't quit. Have you boys ever had soju? Yeah, yeah it's good. Okay. I Why are you it. asking me? Like, you know I, I have. No, no, because no, of course I know you had soju. <laughs> okay, so like, I can't stand pure soju, but for some reason, flavored soju is just like, mm. so, S tier yeah. alcohol. So shoju is uh, like Korean kind of- Korean rice wine? Like, Korean yeah, it's, it's, about, Korean it's about sake. Basically. How much is it? Eight, twenty percent? Is it? Mm. It's way more. I can. The, I, the pure one is like thirty. I don't drink the pure one. I drink the flavored ones. Yeah. It's like twenty percent. The and pure I can, one I can tastes like hand sanitizer. I fucking. Oh, hate it. it's, it's gross. gross. Okay, soju is the only like kind of. I agree with that. I can shots, do that. Yeah, yeah. Shots that goes well with beer. I don't know why. It actually how? does. It actually does, really? dude. It actually I does. I say this, and then because you think of mixing anything with beer, right? Yeah. And it sounds awful. Soju goes fucking amazing with beer, especially really? flavored soju. Pour a beer and then drop the the little little shot in. Yeah, you get bomb. If you want a great but awful night afterwards, because again, that's like awful hangover. Yeah. You, it, it will fuck you up. I, I don't know if, if our editor will include this because he's the editor, but there was one he, after the night where we bought like, oh, we yeah. bought, we bought, so for a, for a party in the UK we did, because we, we were going to Japan. So we wanted to do one last big party yeah. with all our friends to celebrate. And our, our editor came from Estonia. You're done. We're calling we you out now. And uh, we had, I went to New Malden in London, which is the Korean, uh, yeah, area yeah, of London. Yeah. Right. And I went to the Korean like supermarket and I, I went and bought like three crates of 20 of crates? these bottles. Yeah, because yeah, there was about, how many of us was like 20? It, it was more than three crates. It was, it was four, four crates, four, four crates, crates of four this. Crates. And they're all, you know, like. So we had 80 bottles of soju. <laughs> 
And they're all like 750 milliliters each time. Yeah. And, um, oh I, when I bought it as well, they were like, you know how strong this is, right? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's all good. It's all yeah. good. Yeah, like, yeah, I know, I know. But like, it's 20%, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's all good. It's so, all yeah, good. Yeah. so so before, oh, before, before Connor was buying them, he was like, how many crates should we buy? And the, cause he was posting this in the group party chat and everyone yeah. was just like, hey, more crates, whatever, right? Yeah. So we, he rocks up with four crates of soju. <laughs> and we all look at this being like, this is this, we've, we've completely overestimated. Best 80 quid I've ever spent in my life. <laughs> we've completely overestimated this. Holy and shit. so what happens is uh, one of us brought, you know, one of those like beard and empty beer dispensers yeah. where you can fill up with beer. Yeah. So we, we just filled up this beer dispenser with pure soju. <laughs> Right, Jeez. so this entire party, uh, instead of like having pints of beer, we would literally like just go to go <laughs> to this soju, <laughs> go to this go to this soju dispenser, <laughs> get a glass, and just pour like ourselves a full so funny. a full glass of soju. It was awful. Oh, we, and, we, we, we all we drank like nearly all the crates in okay. the first Holy night. So, so yeah, on the first night we went through three and a half crates of soju between like about 25 of us. And I, I, so we had bunk beds in this place. So naturally fine. Covered in sick. No, 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 no. Actually, no one threw up, I think actually. What? So, really? so, That's a miracle. so I'm sleeping in a bunk bed with our editor and he's above, not inside the same bed. Yeah. I wish though, I'm kidding. <laughs> so I'm sleeping in the same bunk bed, he's above me. And I wake up at like 6 a.m. Cause obviously sometimes, you know, when you have to, you drank, you wake up a little bit. You, yeah. you know. And I see him on the floor, like, <laughs> like this, like I, I, I'm sitting on the bottom buck and I'm like, just like this <laughs> at like 6 a.m. And I'm like, I'm like Are you okay? He's like, it hurts. It hurts so much. <laughs> and I'm like, what, what's wrong? He's like, I'm so hungover and it hurts so much. And I'm like, understandable. I'm going back to bed. Bye <laughs> bye. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> oh my God. He, he was, he was out of operation the whole day. It was yeah. so funny. He's a great editor though. Thank Estonians, God. <laughs> man. Estonians, man. That was, that was a good party. I so Chris, when are you gonna come about. to one of a, a party in the UK with us? We'll, we'll make sure you- Whenever it is. Fantastic. I Whenever the world Chris opens abroad up. in the Estonians? UK. I, I got really drunk and nearly hijacked a boat with my Estonian friend in London. <laughs> wait, 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 you I can't, can't just say that. I can't go into detail. <laughs> no, every, wait, come on, every Chris. Every fucking time the camera shuts off, you just say this offhand comment and, you, and we're just like, whoa, chot the mate. Cool. Like, can you like explain ne that? Next, next episode on Trash Chase, Chris gonna be like, this one time I accidentally stole the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> <laughs> totally funny story. Can't talk about it then. Right, well, careful. come on, come on. Set the oh, scene. Got really drunk, nearly hijacked a boat on Halloween. Well, how? How, how did you nearly Wait, hijack a boat? Some millionaire guy in the River Thames had like a yacht uh, that had a party on and me and my Estonian friend crashed it. Okay. Really drunk and nearly like cast off. <laughs> like how, how did you nearly cast off? Well, I was really drunk and I found my way into the engine room with the steering wheel. <laughs> Are you kidding so like, me? You don't just find your way into the engine room. I think we were actively trying. It's just some 24 <laughs> shit. He's, on, he's an espionage mission. I, on the... I am an esteemed YouTuber. I cannot talk about <laughs> I'm a nice person. Yeah, I had a shot of whiskey and found myself in <laughs> fucking MI6. That's, that's kind of what it sounds and like. It was, it was one kilometer from MI6 on the river. I could see MI6 from the boat. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I love how MI6, you know, this very secretive thing is like, that's the building. By it's like yeah, a giant yeah. MI6 sign yeah. on the building. It's like, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Good oh time. God. I feel like, I, I love how you made the most interesting story into the most throwaway tidbit. Like, <laughs> yeah. Along the times where I used to rule Kazakhstan as well, you know, <laughs> classic stories from me, Chris. <laughs> I, I accidentally became the king of Kazakhstan. <laughs> There'll be a book one day. It'll be a very good book. And I hope to promote it on Chris Taste. Chris Board, King of Kazakhstan. Chris, Chris Board. Chris, Chris Board. Board, King of Kazakhstan. Broad. Chris Board, because he's done too much and now yeah. he's bored in life. Someone's been scamming people under my name. Oh yeah, Facebook. Chris really? Borad, right? Chris Borad of a brown in, <laughs> of a, of a brown in Japan. <laughs> No way. You're, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. No, no, right, he, no, he tweeted about wait, it. Wait. There was a screenshot. <laughs> it was a Facebook page of a screenshot and it had Chris's face on it uh -huh. with uh -huh. the logo as like the, the banner Fuck from the off. thing. And it was like- and Show me this. On, on one look, you were like, oh, that's Chris's Facebook page. But then when you look closely- Chris Christopher Broad. Christopher Borad of a, a brown in Japan. <laughs> So, but if he and apparently if you get this message, you've won five thousand dollars. You haven't won five thousand dollars. You've just been scammed. Borad, fucking real. Kazakhstan. I wish, I wish, I wish my viewers were that creative to yeah. come up with. 
<laughs> with those kind of things. That's so <laughs> funny. What the poor I had a brown in Japan. <laughs> you know what the worst, the most awkward thing I'd ever had was uh, in that kind oh of God. sense is that uh, one time, this is really back when I started, I must have had like maybe like 80K subs. So, you know, still quite small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, one time I got a Skype uh, friend ad from someone back when Skype was like right, still right, right, right. not a boomer. That's how thing. you know it's like OG now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I added it and I was like, okay, sure. What's this? this is back when you would just be like, fuck it, yeah, I'll add yeah. it. Just add anyone, yeah. And they were like, I, why aren't you replying to my messages when I added them? And I'm like, what? What? Who are you? Right. What, what are you? And like, why did you? Why did you? I'm like, why did you? They're like, and they're like, why did you block me in your other account? I'm like, what? What? What, what other account? So what happened was, turns out, right, that someone had been pretending to be me on a YouTube channel. Right. Right. And they had, and I, and so I got on call with them because I was like, fuck it, why not? Let's get yeah. on call with this. Let's just see, let's hear what's going on. <laughs> right. So I, so I called them up, and they're like, they were like absolutely panicking. So I'm like, all right, hold on, what's what's going on? Tell, yeah. tell me what's going on. They're like. Um, I was dating you and then we, you stopped messaging me and I'm like, you were dating me. <laughs> and I'm like, this is, <laughs> this is news to me. Uh, and they were like, yeah, I met you through a YouTube channel. And then they linked me my YouTube channel, right, right, right. right? And it was someone who had like Pokemon, like Ruby plastered all over their thing called like Sea Dog VA, yeah. <laughs> right? And right, they, right. They, they were American doing a terrible British accent, right, right, pretending, right. To be, right. pretending to be me. Right. What? So I was like, huh? And so you think this is me? And they were like, yeah, they said that you, this was your second channel. And I'm like, oh and I'm like you, you have to be kidding. Me. Oh, they thought they were dating you. They thought they were dating me because this guy, because this, yeah, because this guy apparently was talking to her often. And I'm like, do, did he sound like me? And she's like, yeah, yeah, he did. So I looked on the YouTube videos. He sounded American as fuck. How did he sound? Like, do your voice. Oh my Go God. On, do hey, voice what's out. up guys? It's Sea Dog VA here. <laughs> Back with another Pokemon Ruby Let's Play. <laughs> And it was like totally, I was like, I was dumbfounded at how, because yeah. uh, at one part I felt sorry for this woman because she was hysterical. Yeah. But on the other, I'm like, how do you fall for you're this? I feel like you're gonna lose your credit card at some point yeah. to some Somalian <laughs> like Chris. Chris <laughs> you know, I, and I was, just, I was like dumbfounded. I'm like, yeah. all right. And I calmed her down. I was like, listen, right. Did you meet up with her though? I did not, Chris. Oh, that could have been the saga. Been the resolution. Yeah. Reach out to me if you, <laughs> no, I, cause they were clearly like, you know, dumb. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, okay, you have, okay. How dare you? You know, I don't like to call my my viewers dumb, but but <laughs> you can't say but. Listen, Chris, if you fall for that, you're dumb. This yeah. If a guy has Maybe. a fucking ground on us, their profile picture, there should be alarm <laughs> bells in your head as to it not being me. Well, well maybe you kind of like listen, ground on. Listen, <laughs> there is some. Uh, uh, you have to feel, okay, I feel sorry for someone who would, if they fell for something, if they were pretending to be me, but right. there are certain levels of disbelief where I'm like, this has got to be on you. This is, like, <laughs> this is you know, yeah, it wasn't sure, even sure. a British accent. That's yeah. where I draw the line. <laughs> wasn't even British. Do you it, even watch my content? The amount of videos there are people in, like impersonating me for like funny videos. Yeah, Some of them yeah. are quite good, yeah. but there's so many where it does not even remotely sound like me and people but are people falling. Impersonate and people impersonate Yeah, yeah, for videos. Like how? So they'll go on Discord servers with the name Sea Dog VA, yeah, and right, they'll right. go in and they'll start talking in like a fake. Is this like in your like own like Discord? No, no. Uh, sometimes my Discord, other Discords like too. In, like, like they go into voice chat and stuff. Mm, mm. Right. And um, on a random service, random service. Yeah, yeah. It's for like funny videos. Some of them are quite funny actually. Yeah. 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 And they'll they'll just do a really bad British accent. And everyone will be like, oh my God, it's Sea Dog VA. <laughs> oh my God, it's him. And I'm sitting here at home like, <laughs> Seriously, that's all it takes? Oh, apparently there's like a demographic of your fans who watch your videos uh, muted. Everyone everyone who is British sounds like Connor. <laughs> I mean, definitely a, a lot of Americans can't tell the difference between a lot of British accents. Well, so most I can get that. I, yeah, I've had a lot of American folks like, where are you from in Australia? I'm like, uh, uh, I'm not Australian. <laughs> it's, I don't know why British and Australian seems to- We do get mixed up quite a lot, even though American I friends. think to us, it's like it's a like complete opposite. Yeah. yeah. Like, but you're, I mean, to me, Australian accents are really different. He doesn't yeah. sound that Australian. I, I don't sound he, as- Yeah, it doesn't sound I that don't, Australian. He does. I don't don't sound, he does. No, no, he doesn't uh, sound that I don't, I don't sound as Australian as I used to. Right. YouTube yeah. does that to a man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, if you, if, if, like, if you go back, if you go back, like, the early in my channel, I sound Australian as fuck. Yeah, really. YouTube yeah. really yeah, same, neutralizes- Same for me, I sounded very Northern. Yeah, new, YouTube very really neutralizes your you accent. Laughing? I mean, do you not sound less British as you've gone yeah, on? Yeah, you see his earlier videos. I yeah, on, the, yeah. on the day I arrived in Japan, week one, I landed in um, Yamagata and my three teachers who I was gonna work with and meet me at the airport. Right. And I was yeah. like, fuck it up, I'm such a long flight, I'm really tired, and I can't do it. And they're like, <laughs> and for one hour we ate at like a Denny's and they just 
I kept talking and talking. They kept going. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, uh, afterwards, they were like, "We don't. We didn't know what what you were saying. We, <laughs> we don't understand." <laughs> I didn't want to do the Japanese kind of kind of words. Like, they're like, "We didn't know what you were saying." Right. Like, oh. Yeah. And from then on, I was like, "Hello, my name is Chris. I'm from London area in in the UK," and I'm like, I have to change my voice. <laughs> but you do. Really like yeah. royal pronunciation. Do like, you, all right, mate. I do. It's been a long time. That's how I used to speak. Do right? you find yeah. sometimes that you speak almost like broken English sometimes to? I've tried to stop doing that. A lot of English teachers in Japan do the stupid voice. Like, mm. I, I went shopping with my friends yesterday, and they'll like do like really yeah. enunciate like, over it. And just, right? Yeah. You've got to, sometimes I'll, I'll talk to people and I'll just deconstruct my English live, just because I'm like, I think they'll understand if I say it this right, way. Right. But I then, mean, I, but then I'll go on to speak to Gant, and I'll be like, "Hi, Gant, how are I'm you Gaunt. today? <laughs> I'm, you know, but no, I don't really." Well, I, I lived in an environment where for weeks at a time I was the only foreigner around speaking right, 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 English, right. English, and like my English level actually went down living yeah, in that is, environment. Is it weird yeah. not being able to speak English for like a month? Yeah, it's really weird. I, I, sorts I've of had bizarre that before as well. Issues as a result, but like, yeah, my vocabulary level went down. I couldn't say words like inconsequential. Like that wouldn't come to my mind. <laughs> when that, that's what that's what got. <laughs> I know that need. just came to your mind. I was just like, what word is going to? Yeah. Well, a word. I just wouldn't be able to get it. I'd be like, uh, it's I, uh, like, it just wouldn't come out. I, I had that. Yeah. I had that too. That like when I first worked in a uh, Japanese ski, I, mm. I worked in Nisiko, yeah. which is like yeah. a big uh, ski resort in uh, Hokkaido. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I worked there for a month. It was like a kind of show snow shoveler, right, like right, just right. general yeah. stuff around the lobbies and stuff. But all of the people who I worked with were just hundred percent from Hokkaido, like all Japanese right, people. Yeah. So I was forced to basically speak Japanese for a month straight. And I remember I came back to Australia and I was like, oh, it's only been a month, right? Like, of course, this English is my first language. Of course, I'm not gonna forget it. But yeah. then I came back to Australia and I was like, shit, what was that word again? <laughs> like, no, I, 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 actually, well. I, I would actually yeah. forget some Inconsequential. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. something or other, yeah. fuck. I don't, I don't know how to say it, hard. <laughs> you know, yeah. it, was, it was just really but difficult. Like, but uh, like in, in terms of like dumbing down your language when speaking to like, mm. you know, Japanese speakers, I, f I feel like anyone who has come from like a bilingual parents or like is bilingual and has had like Asian or parents who don't speak your native language as well. Mm. It's something I've just grown up with. Because yeah. whenever, I, whenever I speak to my parents, uh, like mostly like, for example, when I speak to my mom, I mostly speak in Thai, but when right. I have to express something in English, I like very much have to dumb down careful. my language right, and right, be right. very careful about how I word things. Cause especially like learning a language, you know how their grammar structure is. Mm, so right. you know, like sometimes you hear a Japanese people, like Japanese person speak, try to speak English and you like, you understand what their like mentality is or what their like train of thought is when they're trying right. to like construct a sentence. And you mm. kind of like, what you kind of learn to do is kind of mirror the way that they would construct a sentence so that they would eat more easily understand. Yeah, it. that's basically what I find myself doing. Yeah. But also, oh, dude, I forget like, um, so I I'll think of a word in Welsh. I'll be like, and I'll remember the Japanese word for it. And I'm like, what the fuck is it? Which one is it? And vice versa, I'll be speaking Japanese. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be like, I own, why is the Welsh word keep popping up in my head when I'm right, trying to think right. of the right word? It's a mess. Cause I obviously don't use those languages as much as I use English. Mm, so yeah. in my head, they're slowly like amalgamating together and it's it's awful. I guess you're kind of getting to the point and, and you as well, Gun, you're kind of, you guys are getting to the point where you're learning a third language, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I, I try and Japanese use it. Japanese for you guys is technically like a third language you're trying to learn, right? We're trying yeah, to get better I, I, I try and use it as much as possible. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm doing like a, on the, my new second channel. Whoa, plug in his second wow. channel. Wow, wow, wow. yeah, Definitely. plug. I'm I doing a series where I'm, uh, I guess, playing games with Japanese people and using what broken Japanese I have. Right. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like about to say a word and I'm like, nope, that's, that's the Welsh word. But if you haven't watched that, you should go and watch it. If you want to see my terrible, <laughs> my terrible Japanese in action. But I do find that that has been the best practice I've had though, mm. which is just talking. Because oh, yeah. Yeah. unfortunately I'm in a very privileged situation where I don't need to talk to Japanese people, which I mean, you know. If you get a Japanese girlfriend, every day is a language lesson. What if they speak fluent English? Well, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just going to be speaking English, right? right? Would you not find that communication would be an issue if you could? Well, uh, it was, right? Yeah. <laughs> I used to when I dated a Japanese girl. We used to have arguments, and I just didn't know what were, what was going on. Right, I'm right. Like, oh, well, yeah. Because in she'd English, get really angry, and the, she didn't speak English right. very well. I didn't speak Japanese very well at the time. Didn't know what we were arguing about. You because when you just had your phones out of the Google Translate. Yeah, just because when you when you think about I hate it, you. Translate. <laughs> when you when you think about it in English, we have so many ways to convey levels of upset mm. that are so precise. I feel that it's almost like impossible to translate that to a non-native speaker almost. I mean, it's, you know, it's the whole idea of like the, right. the, the word fuck, right? 
Like that could be used in literally any emotion right, ever. Right, yeah. But trying to, I had to, I had to explain that to one of my Japanese friends because he had heard of that word before, but he was like, what does it actually mean? Oh, I was like, whatever you want well, it it's kind of- Use your imagination. Yeah, when yeah. I said, when I said it, it can mean anything, it's he was dangerous. just like, what? What does that mean? From my experience teaching my Japanese friends the word fuck, it's dangerous because they'll just use it. They use it every time, like, yeah. Big fuck. Like, well, I mean, Natsuki's like, like the sole well, example. Yeah, yeah. Big fuck. Well, yeah. He went to like this abandoned love hotel when he yeah. referred to it as a scary fuck point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the thing is he would be completely correct in that point. I was in a hotel, scary fuck point. What he was trying to say was this is a fucking scary place. Yeah. Yeah. To scary, scary fuck, fuck <laughs> <laughs> for some for some reason. When I've been meeting Japanese people online on video games, they seem to only know the worst words. Oh gosh. Like for one, this one guy kept telling me he had a magnum o chin chin. <laughs> 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 and, and I was like, how do you know the word magnum? <laughs> that is such a, how would you know who taught you this? Who, how do you find this out? I love how he love, he knows the word magnum, but not the word for penis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just the, yeah, the dichotomy yeah. of magnum o chin chin. <laughs> it was so strange. It sounds it was, like a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a rock band. Please welcome magnum o chin chin. <laughs> I want to be in that band. It was great. They'd ask me about my dick size live on stream. And I'm like, are you sure you want to ask that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, good, they're good sports though. They're good sports. It's so good. I learned that there's also a, they have a, a term mm -hmm. and, and gaming in, in Japan where they have real tomo. Idea so, tomo? Yeah. So yeah, when yeah. you when you game online with people, they're not mm -hmm. the real friends. Right. And, when, and when sometimes if you're busy, you're like, oh, I'm playing with real tomo. Oh. Yeah, your actual it's, it's, real it's friends. Yeah, <laughs> the, the atomo is like the equivalent of like IRL friends. Yeah, which right. is like funny because it's like, you're not real. You're <laughs> <the> real <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You're my gaming friend. You're not my real yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've been learning a lot through doing that. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of like Japanese, I guess like internet slang you'll learn from playing with Japanese. Yeah, players. luckily I've been playing with one guy and he's been he's been figuring out how to like dumb things down for me. Right, which right. Which is good because sometimes he talks too if fast. If he was like throwing out like two chan lingo. Because they throw like, they, like th they never use like like any, uh, they always use like plain form and stuff like that and throw right. it all at me and yeah. I'm like, fucking, geez, this is not like my classes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, fuck. What's all this nonsense? Yeah. Where is the Kurawa Ringo desu? Yeah. <laughs> Where is, he haven't said watashi wa once. What's up, <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> I feel like watashi wa is the biggest fucking lie you learn. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. yeah. On Duolingo. Watashi no namayo. Yeah. Nobody says that. Yeah. Yeah. On Duolingo, it, it constantly throws watashi nonstop yeah. at you. It's and then, the first thing you learn. Right. In every Japanese textbook in every classroom. And then you talk to them and you're like, so that was a fucking lie. Well, no well, no well, one mentioned it. I have to say now to everyone who messages me every day saying they've learned Japanese from Duolingo, it doesn't prepare you for Japanese. Duolingo Not is at fun. All. It's quite fun, but like, yeah. It won't prepare you on the ground. It's a little mini Japanese. game it is. It's, it's, it's like, a nice little <laughs> mini game. It, 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 it helps like, with vocab, but that's honestly as far as it goes. But even then, I because sometimes Duolingo will, will t try and teach you kanji mm. before it's even taught you all the hiragana and katakana, <laughs> what? which blows my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it, insane. It, it did do that. I think we've talked that's about like, this That's before. like yeah. teaching you like algebra before you've learned multiplication, right? It's yeah, like, it's why? Insane. Yeah, Duolingo is all right, but like, Human Japanese, really good app I recommend. Um, it is paid for, but it's like a free light version. Yeah, but I, I don't mind paying for an app if it actually is good. It is really, yeah. I used it yeah. my yeah. first year. Human Japanese, Human Japanese Intermediate. Everyone I've recommended to loves it. So if you're learning Japanese, you're like really starting tomorrow afternoon, Human Japanese, amazing. Do you app. recommend the Genki textbooks? They're good after like you've done Japanese studying for like yeah, six months. That's yeah. like, that's like right. the one Human Japanese, you've started <laughs> studying tomorrow, you come to Japan, that is the app you get. Oh, okay. And that right. really okay. helped me in my first year okay. coming here as a teacher. So okay. Can't recommend it enough. Also. Not sponsored. Not sponsored, <laughs> it's a bloody sponsored. good app. Yeah. Well, that's been this episode of Trash Taste. It's <laughs> been the messiest episode of Trash Taste. I like how this, like, this is gonna be even more edited than the hentai video. <laughs> and I'm just but. like, how, how? <laughs> Thank you to our Patreons. That's it. Patrons here. Look at yeah. all these lovely people who are helping us. This is the second time we've said it because Joey said it like a fucking hour ago and then we did like. Uh, we were just getting the flow of chat and shit. <laughs> yeah, Come on. I guess so. I don't know. I'm, I'm not in the I, right place. But. I hope you've enjoyed this recorded bar episode. That's <laughs> this what's been such a trash Blame taste Chris pub. if this yeah. is a mess. The it's Chris's taste fault. Pub episode. Yeah. It's like because, being in the trash taste pub. Because Chris brought his equivalent of boxed wine sake. <laughs> <laughs> fucking abomination that to sake. Twelve dollars. That was good. Why Wait, do you, you talk about twelve dollars? Like that's like you're in uni still. Like that's like this is the that top was, shit. That was good stuff that. If you'd like to support the show though, then make sure to go to <laughs> patreon.com slash trash taste. Also go follow us on Twitter and our subreddit. And also if you're an audio listener, go check us out on Spotify. Also go check out the 
first episode that uh, Chris is in. Yeah, go check it out. That was like how many episodes yeah. ago? A like, long time ago. A long that time ago. Six months ago. Good like riddance. Away. That was like <laughs> right, at, right at the beginning of Trash Taste. Yeah, back you were back yeah. when the set was still bland, right? It was completely empty, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Did we have no, figures? It's good now. No, no, we had no. It was right after. It was the right, It was like the one after that. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Still very barren though. But yes. Will we ever see Chris on for the third time? Who knows? Probably. Comment, please, Probably. Please, please have me back. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> again. I used to write every day for the last. <laughs> please have me back on Mr. Connor and Joey. And it was oh getting really God. annoying hearing the banging outside all let the me, time. Let me come <laughs> back. Let me back. But uh, no, I had a lot of fun today. All yeah. right, fantastic. Well done, guys, for turning trash taste into a success. Like the first time I came, very early on. Now. It's an empire, no less. Empire. Empire. <laughs> it I, empire. I prefer a monopoly. Thank you very much. And you're, you know, at the time we, we live in a society. You're close <laughs> to a million subscribers. So that's pretty awesome Are achievement we? in a very Are short we? space of time. Well, I mean, you're well, going to hit that very soon in 2021. True, well, true, true. I hope so. So yeah. well done for making a great Happy New show. Year. Um, yeah, Happy this, New Year. To 2021, yeah. tons of trash Ho taste to come. you guys got as drunk as we did <laughs> on New Year's Eve. You should definitely watch this with a drink of wine or sake or like, whatever. I, I really shouldn't that have was. had a power salad before I came on because I didn't <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys I, are fucked. I would like to say before these boys start rambling more, you can expect all the good shit from Trash Taste this year. We've only been around for like half a year now, but yeah. we've, done a, we've done some good stuff so far and you can expect yeah. even better stuff coming this year. Absolutely, so, absolutely. It's a trash taste. Taste promise, whatever more, that means. More guests. Trash taste promise. <laughs> Trash taste promise. <laughs> whatever that means. Just wait until the country opens up. And <laughs> All then right. we, we, we can reach our final form. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I've been your boy, and I've been with boy. the, your boy. the your not boy. so good the boy. boy. <laughs> your boy. It's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy, Chris. Goodbye. Good day to you, sir. All right. Cheers. Have a good one, guys. I'll cheers uh, to that. Cheers, boys. Thanks, guys. Thanks All for watching. Right. To, conti Bye. to continuing this off camera. God damn it. God, I hate Chris and his fucking sake. Mm.